Yeah. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff going on um, right now with ignition, of course. Um, the the skill stuff. I would just advise everyone to. You probably have most of the classes at this point. It's just to log into the classes, put in your skill points, and just jump around and just try things. You can read like all of these numbers and all of these stats and everything, but it's not really going to do much for you unless you actually try your hand at it. So the main thing is that they added a third type of element kind of thing, which is like cosmic stuff. So there's something for first job, second job, third job, fourth job, and then a fifth job skill with it as well. Uh, it'll leave some AOE, leave some damage on the ground. The iframe is gone from the, uh, so I guess we're going into Dawn Warrior and the changes and everything, but the iframe is gone from the, um, what's it called? Uh, from the hyper skill, that, that big slash thing, and that skill is just gone basically. And that's gonna be like a dash instead, and the dash has a uh, iframe proportion. And that big uh, six crossing, that big skill, that is only going to be available during the fifth job skill, basically. Uh, where it is spammable now, but that's like the only place where that skill is going to be anymore. Because it's basically like an empowerment of your weapon. So you get that big slash. And of course now with the changes, that big slash will look very similar to the big slash that you get as a Mihal. Because Mihal was kind of like supposed to be the teacher of the Dawn Warrior, right? So the Mihal... It, you can still kind of like see the overlap there with with the type of um, um, the type of skill they use. Wait, these emotes are like very still. <laughs> They're both shy kitties. Well, this is not a kitty actually. This is a, what is this like a ferret? I think. I always forget which one it is exactly. So cosmic burst is the fourth job one. Yeah, I think so. So lunar slash. That's the rush skill. Soul penetration, gachigasm. And then we have the hyper skills were redone as well to get the cosmic skills in there. So we'll probably have to, yeah, we're gonna have to relook at the, re re um, check back with the hyper skill command. A bunch of commands are gonna have to be redone. You know, everything that mentions totems is gonna have to be deleted. A whole bunch of stuff is gonna have to change. Let's update out. No, we've got like three more. Three more hours, almost. Dogs are and cats. Oh, Crispo, thanks for a reset, by the way, man. 29, thank you very, very much. Buff Kana. Oh, yeah, are there any Kana buffs in here? <laughs> Pause champ, okay. Uh, and then the fifth job skill looks like, uh, this is the hyper skill, the cosmic hyper. And then this is that big dash with the iframe that we were talking about. Uh, that's gonna be the hyper skill instead. And then the fifth job here. So this is like what the big slash is gonna look like. And you look see that this one is, much less like a ver like a vertical line, but more like a I don't know like a U shaped attack, um, and this is what is going to look very similar to the Mihail empowered attack. This is our uh, Solar Eclipse, of course, and this is Cosmos, the new fifth job skill that should do a ton of damage as a fifth job skill. And there's some V core changes, so you know for redoing boost nodes and all of that, make sure you check. I guess I'll link this as well, because this is basically just the orange mushroom patch that we checked six months ago that has all of that information in it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Blaze Wizard, again, it's 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 better, I think, to see the visuals here. I think the fire looks really cool. It looks like three or four different types of fire, though. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's like every single skill has got like its own kind of type of fire, if you know what I mean. Like different people designed every skill and then they just everyone has a different interpretation of what fire is um and then they just smush them together but uh maelstrom is now a bind so that's cool laser has their own bind and uh their mp regeneration is a lot easier it's still you know <laughs> it still eats mana of course but uh it's easier to regenerate Orbital Flame stuff changed quite a bit, so you're going to have to look into that. Um, you can use the skill with up, down, left, and right arrow keys to fire it in the desired direction. Beautiful. Uh, but you get the uh, the new Blazing Extinction is an actual sun. <laughs> Not just a ball of fire, but like an actual sun that is floating around. This fire, I think, is a pretty cool effect from Inferno Rise. We got that spirits of flame. <coughs> now we got the burning region, the flaming fl floor pizza. Still out there. Flame barrier. 
No, just a bunch of cool stuff. Um, hypers that don't think changed that much. Or they moved orbital explosion. There was one skill that was removed, so they moved into that one. Uh, this one we've already talked about a few times. This, uh, <laughs> I guess they teach something different in history class than uh, over there than they do over here. This generally, the eagle with the wings spread out over the circular symbol on the bottom, typically associated with some other stuff, so it's a little bit of a yikesy skill animation. <laughs> Let's just say that a European uh, game developer would never have made something like this. Would not have passed through QA, but I guess we'll be seeing it in-game. Um... Phoenix Drive, Cataclysm, entire map, big ol' big ol' iframe. So that's what everything's gonna look like. Fifth job, Blazing Orbital. So a lot of these skills looking very different. This one looks a little bit more similar, like the the falling purple orbs from like during Black Mage a little bit, right? Like you've got the burning ball in the middle and then like a tr trail of flame behind it. But yeah, you have that extra smashing skill like before, but all of the effects are way, way, way cooler. Uh, this one changed quite a bit so that you can have like fewer, I believe fewer stacks, but you can just get all your damage out faster so you're not locked in animation forever. Because with this thing as well, it's like you're not immune and you don't get any reduced damage, but you are stuck. So you kind of become a target when you're doing this. On a hyper burning, um, I want to focus first on finishing all of my, uh, yeah, and this logo is also a bit, <laughs> It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know about that one, bro. It's got like the corners going, like in the, there's only three of them, but man, is that, <laughs> that's <is> some, <laughs> that's some strong symbolism going on right here, bro. Um, I am probably going to be bringing a Buccaneer, but I want to finish on, uh, finish all of my totems first on my DA. I think that's more important because we want to try to do, get a Black Mage clear in for November. So any kind of damage I can gain there is, uh. Is, uh, is really helpful. Uh, I would say if it's under 235 and you're pretty casual player learner do, it's fine to, um, like 235 or lower, it's fine to burn your existing character. But if you're already higher than that and you're not super casual, you're planning on playing quite a bit, I would burn a new character. And then you can just follow the flow chart on what to burn, I would say. I finally found a reason to play Blaze Wizard. Yeah, here's got the, we got that logo again. The uh, It's only three... It's only three angles, guys. Chill. But yeah, Salamander Mischief uh, did not change all that much, if I remember. Just like the numbers within it changed a bit. Then we've got Windbreaker, Wind Archer. Um, just, you know, everything is just different types of green now. Uh, they moved a... Was it a second job skill? There was one skill that people used to mob at the higher levels. Um, I believe... Yes, yeah, Spiral... Was it Spiral? Yeah, so Spiral Vortex, I think, was a fourth job. And the wind cape thing was like a second job, and they basically just moved them, made the spiral vortex a second job instead, and then made the wind cape the fourth job, and then switched the percentages on the boost nodes to make it a little bit more, you know, make sense that you would use that skill at high end playing, that you're not like stuck with a second job forever. Uh, Trifling wind is a little bit different now, but you basically get a a burst now. I believe, with the hyper skills. That's the main difference for Wind Archer. And it's gonna be interesting to not be just a solely a DPM character and you actually have to, you know, hold your skills and <laughs> synchronize with everyone else. Oh yeah, the fairy turn, that's the, the other skill, yeah. Song of Heaven, blah, blah, blah. Storm Bringer. And then we have, what's it called? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so fairy turn is in the because of that fairy turn is also now in hyper skills instead of the the other one. Uh, we've got beautiful new attack. Oh yeah, they also have the additional option for your uh, tornadoes to shoot one one tornado, two tornadoes, or two tornadoes with one empowered tornado. So basically, you use all three. So you can get up to three stacks. Um, yeah, so this is one. And this is two, and then if you have three stacks, then you do both of them. You do one small tornado and a big tornado at the same time. Um, and I believe you can do with the different arrow keys, you can decide which one you want. So there's a slow mode. So basically, if you're bossing, you want a slow mode. If you're mobbing, you want a fast mode, right? Because then you want it to move through and kill as many monsters as possible. Very similar to the big cannonballs for Cannoneer. Uh, so if you use the down arrow key, 
then you consume two and up arrow key you can consume three and if you don't use any arrow key you just use one so this is with the um, regular arrow key this is with the down and if you do up then you and you have three charges you could do both at the same time so you get two big tornadoes so i mean if you're like bursting for bosses you would do that right if you're mobbing you would always just send a single one unless you're not strong enough and you need a stronger tornado basically just whatever you you need to be able to kill right that's uh where you go for and does a whole bunch of damage obviously i lose Idle Whim, still very strong, short cooldown, tap, 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 blow everything up, wind wall, same thing, and Vortex Fear. Where's that? Uh, hyper skill with the burst thingy. I think I accidentally... Uh, oh, Storm Whim with the protection of the Spirit when you gain ability to handle the fickle power of the winds to its limit for a short period of time. For 30 seconds when attacking, 30% chance for strong spirit energy to appear that deals 560% damage on a two-minute cooldown. So, I mean, it's exactly the same timers as uh, Sharp Eye, so that's obviously, you know, for you to combine with that Okie dokie, and then we have our Night Walkers. Oh yeah, as always, you know, core changes. Again, make sure you just check this. Uh, I'll put it in the chat every now and then so you can get all the details. That's just basically the orange mushroom patch notes. Uh, they're just a little bit more colorful. Um, I think a little bit more detailed. Um, and like I said, I did talk to Vera who was making the patch note to see if, if there's anything he can do to make it less like just like a wall of text and a little bit more. Um, they want all the data out there, and of course it's a back and forth with Korea, but it would be cool if it was something closer to this. Maybe not as much, but just to get like a little bit of a visual in the patch. I think it would make people want to go through them more as well. Um, so yeah, all the skills moved around a little bit. The main thing that's changing is like the, the, um, the bat gauge that you get over your head in, I think, third job? Yeah, you have bat communion here. Quadruple throw. The servant, you can see the spooky eyes here. Looks very much like the, the spirit of rock is your servant. He's gonna whip out a guitar, do a nasty solo. So you have shadow momentum. Uh, so your attacks gain momentum, allowing you to use sh uh, throw type skills more quickly and permanently increase final damage. You will acquire momentum after moving a certain distance and when using throwing type skills consecutively, the last attacks can be Ca the last attacks can be cancelled. The higher the momentum stage, the faster they can be cancelled. This buff is not affected by buff duration increasing effects. When you move a certain distance, acquire momentum for 20 seconds, which can stack up to three stages, permanently increase final damage by 20%. So you're just going to be zooming all over the place, basically. Now, how it's going to affect, and this is one of the major questions that people have had in the last six months, is like, what is really going to be changing with the classes, right, once it hits GMS? And the real true, true answer is that we don't know. We, no one has been able to test, play um, the new classes in the GMS setting yet. We have seen a lot of KMS stuff, but as you guys know, KMS has two ranks less of attack speed. And that could be a huge changer. Of course, we also didn't know that totems were gonna be gone until very recently. But if you ask someone like, hey, if you take the same class, but you give a different damage, different monster spawn and a different attack speed, how will I have to play it? Too many variables, right? Your brain cannot just compute that and be like, oh, it'll be obviously like this. This is not thing you can do. Now with Totem's also gonna be gone. Uh, the main thing is, of course, is going to be the further we get into the game, we're gonna be going to a lot of different maps, right? Very small, simple maps that are doable with Totem that you can basically AFK on are gonna be completely shit. Uh, you're gonna kill all the monsters in half a second and you're gonna have your rest of your seven seconds just waiting for the spawn. So we're all going to go to bigger maps with more monsters and we're gonna have to chase the spawn. So people with a lot of summons, people with a lot of mobility will have a huge advantage over characters that are more stationary or whose skills have lower, uh, like smaller hitboxes. Combination of mobility and skill hitboxes uh, and or summons, that will basically mean your kill speed in the, in the future. So, uh, spirit throwing, this is all the same. We all know this. New cool effects for quintuple throw. Darkness Omen looks pretty cool. Shadow Stitch bind, actually a normal bind now. That's a, <laughs> that's a nice change. Uh, still in a three minute though. Ravenous Bats, so like empowering the communion and everything with the bats. It's all pretty standard. Um, no real change here on the on the hypers with the with the siphon, I think they should have probably touched that up a little bit. But 
my hyper burning probably a buccaneer i went through the flow chart for myself on like what to on what to burn <laughs> like i made the flow chart and then i basically used it on myself to see what i would do uh, and i got to the conclusion that i don't want to make a new main just yet because um, if I do main something next, I think I want to give the Cannoneer a good uh, chance. I really like the class, and it's been uh, it's been one that I've always wanted to kind of take a little bit further. Um, I don't want a side character at this point. I don't even have enough time to play all the strong characters that I have. I don't want another bossy mule for the same reason. You know, I don't even get through all of them <laughs> in a week, so I'm not going to add another one to the list that I just feel bad about that I can't play. So I just uh, figured something that would be a good boss mule, like fun side. Um, but but also, oh yeah, and then the last thing is like one for Legion. There's none of them for Legion that I think is worth enough to spend all that time into just for like 1% extra. Because my Legion is already so built out that the gains now are very, very small. So I decided to pick something in between that I could use as like kind of as a side maybe. Because I did use the main Buccaneer a long time ago. A class that seems fun. So I basically picked for fun. You know, because there was nothing else that was really standing out that made me feel like I had to, that that was so much value that I would be giving up. So that's what I tried to do. Cheers. Ginegar, thank you for the 28, bro. Love you, love you. You're link for the flowchart? Yeah, exclamation mark, hyperburn. It's right there. So I put it, uh, I think I put it in title, didn't I? Oh, shit. Hang on. Let me check. Oh, hyperburn. Oh, I didn't. I guess I'll put exclamation marks. Um, uh, select your The burn has one Y in it, thank you. And burn does not have an M at the end. Burn. There we go. Okay, updated the title. There you go. Is it best for you guys? It's right now. Like you. It's right now. Uh, okay. So we have your Dominion, your Glory of the Guardians. Fifth job was a little bit redone, I think, on the Shadow Spear. The damage is still good, but they redid how the damage comes out so it doesn't lag people as much anymore. It was really causing too many instances of damage to come out with a lot of people lagging. So they had to... Basically, they made the numbers way bigger. And the activation's lower, just so, yeah, to, to make it less uh, demanding on people's systems. Uh, as far as I know, the Shadow Bite and the Servant are still roughly the same. Of course, they might have tweaked the numbers around a little bit. And you've got your Rapid Throw, of course. And you get your Thunderbreaker. Uh, Thunderbreaker, again, was made a lot faster, linking between skills a lot faster. Uh, plus, one of the Sharks got some liposuction between the test server and the live server. Other than that, not too much has changed, but again, uh, oh yeah, the sea wave. They added like the sea wave, which is like a blob of water that shoots out every now and then and then just rolls around the map and kills things. Um, I don't know if we're going to get the definitive version of all the skills, because just like in Destiny, if you guys remember, there was a Destiny update in the beginning and then there was a skill change to amend them a little bit really close after, but it was so close that we got both of those versions in one. I think for Ignition, they'll try to do the same. Uh, which means that the damage and the move speed of the sea wave uh, will be way higher than on release and then on what you see here because um, they found that it was kind of underperforming. <laughs> uh, but again, on really big maps where you need a lot of mobility, Thunderbreaker is going to have a decent spot there, of course, and throwing the sea wave in one direction, killing everything in the other direction, uh, you can get a lot of monster kills out of that. So that would be cool. Uh, but again, the main thing is what we're looking at for Thunderbreaker is the extra two ranks of attack speed. Like, how is that going to affect the character? You know, is it going to open up a whole bunch of weird ass combos that Korea didn't even think about or have to think about? Uh, is it going to, you know, give you different capabilities when you're bossing and all that? It's really going to be all about just logging into the character, trying a bunch of stuff and seeing what happens and not having everything written out for you already, which which I think is, is exciting, especially if you're playing a Thunderbreaker because, well, at this point, you're playing it because you like it, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be on that class. So it's a new exciting um, part of trying to figure out wh what combos work, which maps work, where can you go, where do you want to go, and not just blindly copy whatever KMS is doing, especially not in terms of which map do you train on because with extra attack speed, you could be able to move through other areas way faster then Korea might be able to. So it's time to start, you know, making your own meta. Which, you know, can be... 
can be a little bit scary, but I think that's I think it's cool. Uh, and I believe you could also now choose when to activate your spear for fifth job here, uh, and it doesn't just like randomly randomly pop up anymore. So we have a language that can be linked to all skills other than itself. If the skill hits an enemy using damage reflect, you will not take damage. You use in auto use mode, lightning cut speed strike will be activated automatically when it's not on cooldown. So you can choose to turn it on or off. So if you're already really used to it, you can use it very well. Definitely want to just keep it on auto. But if you don't have it on auto, you can just put it on a button and actually choose where to use it. So that's quite cool for Thunderbreaker because as a total noob with Thunderbreaker, whenever I was playing it, it would always pop up at the worst possible time. <laughs> of course, because my timing would be uh, would be terrible. Uh, and then, you know, this very powerful skill wouldn't do any damage. And you do have to rely on that skill specifically. And then this one, of course, the Lightning Spear Multi-Strike to, to do a lot of damage. So it'll be important. What was that highlighted message? If I burn level 240 character, do I get the order of 200 and 210? The character already unlocked the arcane symbols. Yeah, you'll you'll just get all the stuff. You'll get all the stuff. Uh, and it's not one of those symbols a lot of people ask. It's not one of those symbols like in GM, like in uh, non-reboot, where you have to either choose the new symbol or the old symbol. You just get a symbol that's worth five, and you can just smoosh it into the other ones and just you know consolidate the EXP. Then we have Mihal. I believe Copperson is going to be making a Mihal. Uh, if you didn't announce that yet, spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> You're getting, uh, we were talking about Maple a little bit here and there. I was also talking about Rage Shadow Legends with Matt. Dude, he's got, he's got so lucky, dude. He's got like three completely OP champs that I don't have yet at level 93. And he has them like at level 40 or something. And his, his whole game is going to be so easy. And not worry about dailies, Good time to actually work, go home, take a nap, and not worry about dailies. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, for 23, almost two years, my dude. Yeah, yesterday I still had some time to do some dailies, so I squeezed in some uh, some symbol dailies before I went to sleep yesterday. <laughs> Hopefully I can do today's again. Uh, I think my Macarena sponsor thing is probably over, so I should probably take that timer off soon. But if you guys have some time, please check out that link and just sign up, okay? You just download the game, play through the tutorial, it will help me. I think it still helps me, plus you get some free stuff in the game, okay? Check out that link in chat. Is it after watching the Mihail blindfolded solo of Hard Lotus? Oh, he did? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, from what I remember, not too much changed for Mihal. Like, a lot of the animation changed. Um, I think they fucked a little bit with the... Oh, yeah, Chining Chase. I think that's new, right? The Or there's something with the shield extra. There's one extra... Like, oh, Soul Release. That was the thing, I think. That was extra... I believe that's the extra skill. Really using your shield as a as a weapon. I think Mihal should actually have shield as their primary weapon. It doesn't make sense that they have their one-handed sword that that's their source of their damage. They should have a they should have a weapon type shield in their main slot. I guess it's too late to switch now though. And then for secondary, some kind of you know some kind of amulet or something. Captain America, <laughs> yeah. The shield. Isn't there like an anime with a shield hero or something as well? Shining Cross is gonna look pretty weird. Shining Cross Assault, especially. Install shield. Oh yeah, so yeah, it's install shield is like an extra summon, right? Very similar to uh, like the Urda shower that change that's happening, right? Where the Urda. Um, or Urda's, uh, what is it again? Or Urda Fountain, so you can use Urda Shower to install it as a summon in the map as well for extra training. So if you have multiple of those summons around. He has a Sword of Light. Yeah, it's got Sword of Light and Shield of Light. But I almost feel like they they made that the theming because he had a sword. You could have also just like dual wielded shields, you know, f like go full Cabracken or something. And the hyper skills. Cool new effect, Soul Majesty, Deadly Charge, looking very different. A little bit more similar to Paladin, right, with like a giant shielded guardian behind pushing the attack. We got the shield, big ol' shield, of course, keep your teams al team alive. Or if you're really good, giga chatting, soloing, you can just destroy the shield, get a bunch of final damage, and give, give yourself an insane amount of burst. Excuse me. 
sort of light. So then if you're slashing uh, with the sort of light, right, it looks very similar to the Dawn Warrior attack that I showed earlier. But this one is basically uh, just basically the same skill, just like recolored more in yellow, right, rather than the, the pink for the Dawn Warrior. And then you have the Light of Courage. Yeah, some of these animations look a little bit weird. Then changes to Core. Uh, yeah, and then so... Maple Story Ignition Extreme had extra changes, so either these go through maybe immediately, uh, or this is part of the second update, but so for Destiny, they they did that. Um, you can finally use our <laughs> will skill during other skills, so you can use it if something is dropping on you while you're having a key down on, on Arc. Big buff. Share a big buff the next number of coins created. Limit has been improved to be applied separately for each dimension in will phase one. Okay. Um, yeah, these are mainly just some smaller fixes. Um, I think the only bigger changes they have was in O. Was it in Odium? Yeah, I wonder if. So yeah, so this was the second part. This was the 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 stuff from the second part. Mana overload changes. God is blessing changes. I think this will all go through in one time, right? Uh, I guess we'll can see now what they what they said about that specifically. Uh, but we might have to just check the numbers once the game goes up and see which one it is that we have. Uh, if I do goddess, God's blessing. Okay, yeah, two uses. Yeah, okay. So this is added into it. Uh, so the demi urge of destruction, aeon of creation, that stuff as well. Demi. Uh, what is it? Um, fuck, what are these things called again? Uh, if I just use destruction, can I find it? So wait, creation and destruction. Cube chair. No, it's called something else. What is that called again? Um, oh god. Oh, Tunisian Rune, that's the one. Found damage really Okay, yeah, okay, so that stuff is all going through. So this is also going to be part of it, yeah. So Mana Overload ap appealing to more stuff. These skills will now also have Mana Overload applied to them, which apparently they didn't have. So like a bunch of the Ice Lightning <laughs> skills. Um, but yeah, so final da the final damage is getting nerfed quite a bit on Infinity and on Frenzy as well. DA rip. Uh, mages, not quite rip. You know, getting final damage on this. They were doing very well, so they should be fine. Apparently Zodiac Ray for Evan did not get final damage from Mana <laughs> Overload, which is uh, interesting. A lot of these skills are actually quite good, and it's kind of weird that they were never in there. Um, yeah, I already did the list thing, right, on who I think is getting nerfed versus uh, versus buffed. So that's what should be making it into uh, into the game. So like for the fire poison, ice lightning, arc slightly nerf, battle mage big nerf. They're overperforming at this point. Blaster blazers are good down there. Like all the. Cygnus basically getting a nice nice touch up. Dawn, I'm not sure if it should be small or big, but we'll see in the play style, right? Demon Avenger down. Demon Slayer up for some reason. Well, we know the reason. It's because two ranks of attack speed lower. You take away the two ranks of attack speed and uh, people won't play DS anymore. <laughs> it's truly, truly very, very different. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and Shade is uh, getting put in place. Kaiser big buff? Yeah, Kaiser is big buff. If you were telling me you were hyper burning a Kaiser, I would say God bless you, because that class is going to be great and it does need players playing it 100%. Uh, skills that deal different damage based on the number of enemies being attacked has been improved. Yeah, so you'll if you look at the numbers, you'll see that a bunch of skills seem like they have way higher percentages now. But what happened is they had that, those percentages already just for single target. But what they posted was the damage for multi-target and then said it does more damage the 
the the lower the amount of targets there is but now what they just say they say the higher percentage and they say the percentage goes down as you hit more monsters so they just approached it from the different angle because they had both they had approaching from the top and they had approaching from the bottom so now they just have all of them approaching from the top basically uh yeah so urda shower with the urda fountain change right so that you can put it in place for one minute when it's maxed it's uh not when it's max actually i think it's i don't know if it's at level 25 but maybe at 30 that it's a minute uptime minute duration so just a full um full uptime uh and it's a pretty strong summon so you can put it somewhere and it'll just destroy everything it hits up to 10 enemies so We defeat 12 enemies, the collective Urda will explode, dealing 825 damage, 4 times of 10 enemies. Yeah, so it's just constantly blowing up as you're killing monsters. Um, oh god, these extra, all of these extra changes. Okay, so Hero is going to be P, so Burning Soul is going to be everywhere. More damage on a Raging Blow. Uh, I-Frame is going to be on Sword Illusion. Um, oh no, no, the I-Frame is still... Sorry, I-Frame is still on the World Reaver. But the cooldown is going from 20 to 25 seconds. And then the final damage is added to the Sword Illusion, not on the combo. So you can do a bunch of extra damage with this one and get your final damage up and then just hold World Reaver as your full iframe. So you don't have to be like, oh, I'm trying to optimize my damage and then the dragon spawns and my iframe is on cooldown, right? Uh, and then combo instinct going to two minute. Basically all the four minute bursts in this update is going to two minute instead. So that's one of the major changes. Um, Paladin can retarget faster. Uh, hammers. Oh yeah, and the Mjolnir's um, more charges, more hammers, so you could burst more if you want to. And it also recharges quite a bit faster, instead of 15 down to 12 seconds. Um, Dark Knight, more range. Duration for Dark Thirst, slightly down. And the cooldown to 90 seconds just to you know synchronize it better with your other skills. So the mages, the final damage change, final damage from infinity can only go up to 115%, which I believe the current max that people were getting it at was around 130 to 135, I believe. Uh, so correct me there if that's wrong. But it's very, very close, and because you have two with unstable memory, then yeah, it was just OPOP. -OP. Oh, this was still a full copy that I did, so some of these pictures are going to not show up. Uh, Fire Poison was nerfed quite a bit. D basically, just all the numbers and the amount of ticks and everything brought down. Uh, as well as the Infinity, of course. So they're being brought back into place with all the other classes because they were definitely overperforming right now. Ice Lightning got some nerfs, but not that many. Uh, and even a few other skills kind of got an increase. Um, or like utility. So they didn't get hit nearly as hard as Fire Poison, but they still, you know, they still took a big hit. Um, and Bishop even less so, like still took the infinity hit, but then basically all the other stuff got buffed. So all in all, they basically stayed around the same as where they are now. Plus, I think the biggest change is um, is for Benediction. So you can now use a skill again within five seconds to decrease the skill's duration by 14 seconds and the cooldown by 60 seconds. So this is a standard three minute cooldown skill. But if your party is a two minute party and you know you don't have domain or something and you don't have to go by three minutes, you can just repress benediction after you use it. And you can use it for, um, yeah, you, you just use it a second time and it it goes sl slightly shorter duration, uh, but it goes to a two minute cooldown now. So now you can use it every two minutes. And that extra utility, I think, for, for bishops is amazing. It's really good. Make sure that you can fit in, in the parties two, three minute very well. So it's good stuff. And uh, the other thing that they did is they just aligned the cooldowns of everything a bit more to make sure that when you're soloing or partying that it, you know, any class got nerfed. Yeah, a lot of them did, yeah. Uh, the main ones was Shade, uh, let's see, Demon Avenger, the Mages, and uh, the Battle Mage, and then the Arc Mages, and then Arc a little bit. Basically, the classes went from four to two minute, actually took quite a bit of nerfs. They did reinstate some of the damage from the four to two minute classes. Um, Hero was was done properly because they give it some other buffs to counteract it. Uh, but there were some unforeseen circumstances in the nerfs for the other classes that went from four to two minutes. Uh, Demon Slayer just got buffed in, uh, in general, yeah, so they don't care. But the other classes, they 
get some extra buffs again afterwards. So that's specifically Arc and I think... Was it also a little bit Demon Avenger? But that's like after, after Ignition. So that's not part of even part two of Ignition yet. So we'll have to wait a little bit for that. Okay, Adventure Archers. Double jump, cooldown removed from the teleport. Blah, blah, blah. Thoughts on Mihal. Nice class. Lots of survivability. If your team doesn't need the survivability anymore, you just use it as final damage for yourself to do more damage. Um, yeah, you can choose to really just babysit your team, or you can choose to take that babysitting powers and turn it into destructive powers to kill the boss. High survivability. Um... Positioning is still important and all that, but once you know what you're doing on your character, it's really hard to die. Um, and you can just stay alive, right? And being alive is dealing damage, basically, so... it's good shit. Uh, Arrow Blaster duration... Yeah, so what you see also is that the duration for a lot of summons went up from 30 to 60 seconds, for example, or, from, or even hi uh, higher for some other ones. So if you put stuff on the... Uh, on the map, it's going to be there for longer, which is going to be good for us timing-wise because totems are going to be gone, right? So we're going to bigger maps. So you want to be installing summons and have them be around for longer so you don't have to constantly resummon them. So that'll take a little bit of the weight off of needing to find new maps that work and, and finding maps that work right now and not having to change again in like three months when that change goes through. So it's good to have that in one, in one go. Better survivability and DPS over DK. I can tell you exactly. I would, ex uh, I imagine the survivability is better, but the DPS is a little bit lower. Uh, that would be my guess. But you would have to, yeah, you would have to find like some kind of benchmark where you could test that. That's a, uh, yeah, like, I can tell you that with a hundred percent confidence. But from what I've played and what I've seen, that's w where I would position them. But they might be in a, yeah. DK doesn't have the ability to protect the entire team, right? So he should be doing a bit better in damage balance-wise, just because he doesn't even have that option to keep the whole team alive. So a DK by itself, would, or DK as a class, would be way more solo-oriented, whereas a Mihal is way more flexible and could be fully party-oriented as well. Uh, marksman changes. Yeah, again, it sucks that the pictures are gone here because that's the, the main reason why I wanted to do it this way. Um, treating shot. Less action delay. Yeah, so some of the shots where you're doing and you have the enhanced skill, it would shoot a little bit faster. So now they just made the attack speed completely constant and not have it like one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, where it just shoots a little bit faster. It's a little bit weird for the rhythm of attacking and moving around. Uh, cooldown decrease from 10 to 7 seconds on Bolt Swift. That's the, the extra AoE skill that you have in third job. So that's also nice. You can use that uh, more often. Um, painkiller, nobody uses that. Uh, the mi Yeah, one of the main differences is like Bullseye Hyper Skill is now synchronized with everything. That's cool. And True Sniping, so Perfect Shot was changed a lot. So right now it's a 3 minute cooldown with a 12 second duration with another 2 seconds after. So it's a 14 second iframe every 3 minutes. Uh, and now it's every 60 seconds instead. Um, the maximum number of uh, arrows fired have been changed from 7 at level 25 to firing 4, but you fire them all at once. So you just click once and boom, you fire them. Uh, the maximum aiming time has been decreased from 12 seconds to 2 seconds, and the invincibility duration after the skill ends has been changed from 2 to 1 second. So instead of a 14 second 3 minute uh, iframe, it's now a 3 second 60 second iframe. So it's going to be way narrower on the usage. I would have liked it to stay like 4 seconds. Because that's like significantly still more useful, I think, than a three seconds. Especially if you have bad ping, three seconds is, is going to be a tight window for a lot of attacks uh, from bosses in the game. Um, but yeah, one minute instead of a three minute, so that's way more useful. It's way more, uh, you know, a lot more utility out of it for things like black mage. You can now use it for every FMA instead of only one of every three, right? So that gives you a lot of survivability there. Um, if you think of old marksmen that had a three minute iframe, complete with a um, What's it called with uh oh with yeah with dealing less damage the closer you get to a boss having to have liberated like that versus now the same damage from all distance you know and a one minute iframe <laughs> that's a completely different black mage fight that you uh, you get to do uh, and split arrow now has twenty five percent defense ignore in it because you know marksman really suffering with the ID but uh, you know just make it a little bit stronger 
Or who's the best class in the game? Um, with these changes, they were in a really, really good spot, you know. Uh, Pathfinder, they're trying to drag it out of the gutter. Uh, it's, I don't know if they'll ever really make it viable for like endgame bossing, but they tweaked uh, a lot of the damage on this character. Action delay decreasing, debuff double duration, extra damage on the passives, relic gauge consumption down. Um, it's not mentioned here, but part of this whole thing Maybe I read over it. I don't think it's a thing yet, or maybe that was part of Destiny, where the damage reduction for the hyper skill is now part of all three of the colors, not just the red one. Uh, to make sure that whichever one you use, you get that reduced incoming damage. It doesn't matter which skill you just use last to get it as a as a pseudo iframe, basically as a reduced incoming damage skill. Uh, they yeah they changed where triple impact damage comes from. The bus announcement explosion range has been increased by 10%. Discharge announcement. <laughs> discharge. Nice. Attack range has been increased by 42%. Boom. Uh, but yeah, I already went through all this, so I'm going to not do that too much. Um, Shadow Rush can now be used during Night Lord's attacking skills. I don't know how that's really going to affect their positioning and all of the Ender survivability, but that could provide some extra cool gameplay. So we'll have to see how. Night Lords find that update coming towards them. Um, and the rest is more quality of life. Shadower um, animation slightly changed. Oh yeah, and you can now use uh, Eviscerate on Assassin's first attack. So that allows you to use it you know, really at the moment that you're actually needing it and not just whenever, you know. So, um, yeah, for the people who don't know, like you have a attack animation with, um, or an attack progression kind of with assassinate, assassinate. And if you, you have to use it on the second part of the update to, oh, we've got blocks, not cool. Um, to be able to link it with Eviscerate that like teleports you to the boss that you have stacks on and then gives you a one second iframe for the, on a relatively short cooldown. Um, and if you don't, yeah, so y it pushed you to have to do the extra animation because if you didn't, then you wouldn't be able to use the iframe. So now you have more freedom to use it. Uh, dual played Asura attack range increased by about 87%. So that's just gonna be hitting everything in the map. Basically trying to help them with late and endgame mobbing as well as, as not having to be on top of the boss as much when you're bossing. Uh, more damage on Blade Storm. Quite a quite a decent chunk of extra more damage as well. And then the damage for Haunted Edge is also up by quite a bit, an extra 200%. Uh, Viper got a lot, so Buccaneer got a lot of reduction to the amount of targets that you hit. Um, just to bring them a little bit back in line because they were overperforming. So like shorter, smaller attack range, number of monsters brought down. Um, uh, and the defense form, activated for three seconds when a sea serpent and go hits an enemy. The damage reduction has been decreasing 40 to 30 percent, is now a cooldown of four seconds. Uh, and you can put serpent spirit on the pet Ottawa. Wow. So this looks like a whole bunch of nerfs, but most people weren't even hitting this many targets. Plus, remember, if totems are gone, you're definitely not hitting that many targets because there just aren't that many around anymore. So, um, yeah, <laughs> should be fine. Hyperburn command is basically like, just pick one dumbass. No, not at all. It takes you through the steps of what are the priorities that you should be thinking about. And as long as you've thought of them, then go to whatever is the, the next priority. And then whenever you came, come out to something, is pick something that you will enjoy, you know? And not just, just pick one. Because there's a good chance you pick something that you don't actually end up liking. Um, was that our boy from Peru? Poker Stars Barra. How you doing? I'm doing, uh, doing A-OK -okay now, man. Had a, a long few days. <laughs> <laughs> Try to power through these patch notes to see if we can get them done before the game actually goes up. Kalameo. I uh, was doing some math. Raging Blow for Silver Heroes. I noticed the damage is getting nerfed a bit. Um, it should be uh, it should be still a slight buff because of how uh, much more reliably you can put the 
um, final damage on with Sword Illusion now instead. Um, and there was something else between the extra targets and the numbers. It looks like a sm slight nerf, but it's actually, with all in all, if you take it into account, it's actually a slight buff. But it's 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 uh, mathed out to be around the same. How's Ilium these days? It's just a little bit higher on the key inputs, but both for mobbing and for bossing, I think Ilium is really, really good. Yeah, no longer... Yeah, the DC from flying is long gone. One year on ignition, meant to be. When you're on ignition? Yeah, true. On the day. Thank you, G Wood. Appreciate that one year, man. Uh, feels birthday, man. Clap. Clam? No, not clam. Clap. <laughs> um, they will be rather lazy on the training. Yeah, you can put ball on the left, ball on the right, or you can even teleport it around, and you can just, you know, throw things at it. Big explosions. Um, but again, right now, you can maintain that with, um... With totems, with totems gone, you will be able to quote unquote lazy farm a bit, but you have to use map teleporters and your own fifth job teleporters to get around the map better. Uh, so it'll be, yeah, no, it won't be lazy anymore, definitely not. But you will be able to get really good rates because of the AOE explosions and the extra mobility that you have in the map. Yeah, yeah, when it came out. The Elim release was probably the worst release of any class ever. Teleportation and flying basically didn't work, plus you were so squishy that everything would kill you, and your extra rank of attack speed was locked behind getting max stacks, and you lost a stack every time something hit you. So it was pretty much impossible to <laughs> play the character. Uh, but that's, that's a long time ago. They've, they've gone through like four or five buffs, I think, since then, uh, and they're in a much better place now. They're in a really good spot. Uh, so Corsair, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I improved so that the invincibility duration is fixed regardless of the aiming. The feature of the damage being based on the number of enemies being attacked has been removed. Yeah, and then the damage changes. So it didn't change too much to, uh, to Corsair. Cannoneer, a uh, little quality of life, a little quality of life. Yeah, that's, this is the main thing, is that your two big AoE things, your pool maker and your special monkey escort, will now be the same duration, uh, the same cooldown. So you can just use one, then do the other one, and do the other one, like alternate between them much better. So it's 34 seconds duration instead of 42, but on a 90 second cooldown instead of 120. So it's got the same cooldown now as pool maker. So it doesn't end up in that weird spot where you're kind of like overlapping on the skills when you want to use them as empowerment skills for, um, um, empowerment skills for mobbing. Or if you want to use them together with overdrive and uh, terms and conditions as a bursting thing every 90 seconds, then you can do that as well. Because basically, uh, the Canadier basically has a 90 second burst window. Every 90 seconds, you have your three big bullets back and you have all your skills. So you can burst every 90 seconds completely and then every 180 with a domain, something like that. Some additional changes to our boys finally going to save Soul Eclipse with a buff freezer. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. And they finally fucking fixed it. Does DS need a cooldown half? No, they do. What they get is cooldown skip and the inner ability some people do. So you have more utility out of your iframes if you want to. It's also not necessary, but some people like it a lot to just be able to survive more. But a cooldown hat won't really do much for them, yeah, because you, you cycle off of uh, basic attacks, right? Do, 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 do. Windbreaker just breaks more wind. For some reason, they changed the attack uh, animation on the skill, but they cha didn't change the icon. So now you get like a very light green skill and a very dark green <laughs> icon. That's going to be the thing with... I think there's about five or six skills for Wind Archer now that have very light skill animations uh, because they, you know, through between Tespia and Live, they finally got them to like a much lighter uh, area. But the skill icons are still going to be darker. <laughs> like that one skill from, um, from Dual Blade that has a very weird skill icon it doesn't really look like the skill at all but that's because that's what the skill looked like in the uh what's it called in the in the tespio server nightwalker 
bunch of extra buffs. Um, so this was like the final attacks. Yeah, so they, they added a bunch of damage to the final attacks. That's like when the bats are flying around, so the bats are going to be hitting way harder to make sure that they still... Um, getting to the point where the bats can kill has been brought down to a lot lower amount of total funding than where it was in, within the initial ignition. But again, we're probably getting most of that at the same time. We'd have to check the numbers and everything. But um, it seems like we're getting all of those things at the same time, so that should all be in there. Uh, so this should be the C-Wave thing that I mentioned. Uh, distance limit increased. Yeah, another 50% so it can go all the way. Uh, the enemy's hit has been increased from 20 to 24. Attack range increased by about 40%, and attack interval decreased by 50%. So the C-Wave was increased a lot compared to the beginning of the... Uh, of the ignition update but again we'll, we'll never know the old ignition <laughs> it'll just be or the early ignition and the late ignition it'll just be the same thing for us just like it was in destiny and this is one of the really cool things about being behind by six months is that yeah it takes longer to get all the content but we got a bunch of spoilers already we can we can you know preemptively set ourselves up to be able to receive all the stuff that's coming in the update and the second thing is that if even if the update itself went through Tespia and everything there's still something kind of fucky about it and they fix it like a month later that's close enough for us to just smash them together and get the update completely so we never have to deal with the bugged version of whatever attack went through so that is you know one of the one of the big benefits of, of being behind that way um, Thunderbreaker charges just more attack ranges, um, faster linking. Oh yeah, and Lightning Cascade was brought to 120 to synchronize better with the other skills and longer duration. Uh, shorter shark delay, uh, shark <laughs> shark delay <laughs> action delay on the shark, uh, and also when linked. And then the spear range increased by about 31%, and actually decreased by 33%, and when linked, decreased also by 33%. So. Again, add two extra attack speed ranks to that, and we'll we'll have to see how that goes. But this goes to prove so that you can use blink while on the gr ground during runs. Nice, uh, or we will know if something that was bugged will be fixed or nerfed and make better decisions. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, you can see if a class is getting completely nerfed, um, making yeah. it maybe a bad idea to invest for the long term in a class if you were already kind of on the fence of whether or not you were going to play be playing it, right? <laughs> That's definitely true. He back. I'm back. Thank you very much, Tom, for the 35. Oh, my God. That's almost three years. One more month. Thanks for all the primes, guys. Thank you for uh, welping, wel welcoming, welping, welcoming me back after the, uh, the ordeal that was traveling to and fro Maplefest. For people who missed all of it, basically the... Took me 54 hours to get to LA in the first place. At that point, Maple Fest was long over. Um, and the people I was traveling with, Copperson and Femke, they took even longer to get there. They took another eight hours on top of that to get there with extra, because of extra delays. Uh, and they, yeah. And then felt so just miserable <laughs> from traveling so long that they basically got half a day, not even half a day, they got like a few hours with some Beam Brigade people um and then half a day being at the nexon hq in la um and then travel back basically <laughs> not good docs uh if you check info help commands that's probably what you're looking for i uh, yeet so opinion on the luminous changes uh my opinion is for luminous changes that it is a small buff it looks like a small nerf we had a set up a small nerf first but it is a small buff because of the amount of extra monsters that you can hit oh no this motherfucker killed my doom priest it's raining at least the weather was okay there Aaron yes big Aaron things much bigger attack on the final blow. Further jumping. Uh, Beyonder gets quite a bit stronger from what I understand. Cooldown from Adrenaline. Uh, no, it's not Adrenaline. Oh, I forget what this is called. But from to from four minute to a three minute, three minute that's huge for them. And I believe this is the same thing that happens for our dear friend Kaiser, right? That's also why he got a pretty decent buff. 
Uh, the charge combo increased from 80 to 160 on installed Maha. That's just, you know, a little bit of quality of life. And then the feature of the damage being based on the number of enemies. So that's just going to change the numbers, but doesn't really change the damage output. If you ever an explorer and skip the tutorial, do you start at level 10? Yes. Right? If you skip tutorial? Or is that one of those where you skip and you don't get... No, I thought... Didn't they say that you will get the experience for the level 10? For the... For the... For the little duder? Do you not get the... Oh, the, yeah, see, they patched it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they didn't in the beginning, but I think they changed it. With Around Night Troop, they changed it. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, there was some stuff moving around there. Okay. Evan, um... Yeah, the magic debris finally fixed. Such a huge part of your damage. Uh, Dragon Fury always gives you that extra magic damage. Doesn't even remember, you know, doesn't need to look at your MP anymore. Um, yeah, just some quality of life stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah, Lumis changes. Yeah, th the way that the equilibrium changes are going to change the character on how you need to charge and when to use it and whether you toggle and all that stuff. That's going to be, I, I think you'll just get more options. Um, and you'll just get to pick for yourself which one you think is a better way of um, uh, of doing what you know what works for you, how you activate your skills, how you play the game, whatever you think is a kind of a cleaner way of getting through all of it. Because everyone plays, you know, even if you have the same class, you still play it a little bit in a different way. So it'd be a good idea to get more customization, kind of on on when it activates, how it activates, so you get to decide that for yourself. A Toby followed. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Tiberius. Uh, Shadow Redemption Scythe attack range increased by 83%. I really wonder when, when if ever, if Morning Starfall is going to be used. <laughs> it's really just a passive. I really wonder if there's going to be ever a situation where people use this skill, but... Following skills description have been changed to be more accurate. All of them? <laughs> yeah, thanks for the tier one, man. How you doing? Enjoy your extra chromosome? Do you know if it's confirmed that if I burn a little too, I forget to get a rise from early to 200s, like the nose and stuff? Yeah, you'll get that. Shouldn't be as valuable for you anymore, though, right? Because you're already further in the game, so you don't, quote-unquote, need them as much. But yeah, you'll get them. Dude, this song is such a bop, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, Mercedes gets a lot of stuff here. Um... I don't even know if Mercedes is, is going to be the same after Ignition as before. With the attack range changes and the delay changes and the range changes and everything. I think they're going to have to learn to play the character quite a lot differently. Yeah, the hit timing on Wrath of Enlil... <laughs> Again, also extra two ranks of attack speed, right? So how is it going to specifically change the class? We'll have to see. I think it'll... Be a huge benefit, but uh, cooldown removed on Elvish Blessing. That makes more sense as well. Oh, are you serious? Power damage boost increased from 5 to 10. Just, you know, a bunch of nice tweaks. Uh, let me just PayPal you for lunch. No, dude. No worries. No worries. I don't even remember how much it was. I didn't even keep the bill and everything. It's somewhere in my luggage. Don't worry about it. You're already like six months sub, so we're, we're good, man. I, If anything, I kind of feel bad about the end of the night and like going back to the hotel and everything. Because like with the timing, it was all a little bit awkward. Because the, the idea would be that the entire Saturday I would have already been with like the big players. 
and we would have gone out to eat and we would have done other stuff so we would have already seen them so much um but now since all of that just fell through sunday was kind of like trying to squeeze everything into just sunday you know like trying to hang out with you guys and also hang out with being brigade like at the same time so it was it was a little bit too much at the same time so it was um it was definitely a little bit awkward on how that all went try to make the most of it WTF, where's my free lunch? Well, if you flew in <laughs> from Ipfest, yeah. Now c you can enter extreme and regular monster park on the same day. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's just a different daily. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to add that into the daily list. You're right. Uh, developer nodes, more skill changes. Oh my god. Okay, just fucking Google your class, go through the list, and look for yourself. There's so much. How many pages is this left? Oh, only 35 pages left. Boost. Um, yeah, but basically for Phantom, they buffed their the actual Phantom skills, so you don't feel too bad using the character's kit and only use stolen skills, basically. So yeah, huge-ass shade nerf, which was kind of necessary because they were doing way too much damage now. Um... So shades are gonna have to kind of relearn how their timing on their skills with like the pink attack, with the smashing chain punch. Like all the timings are gonna be slightly different. So you're gonna have to figure out how to burst properly, how to set all that up. Um, you know, exciting stuff. Demon Slayer, insane amount of buffs because you know they're not that good in KMS. Dude, of all the things, Orthra's duration increased from 40 seconds to 52. <laughs> that skill is already so good, and they just. <laughs> They give it like 30% longer duration. It's fucking, it's fucking insane, man. Yeah, and they worked on the on the cooldowns a bit as well to make sure that they all synchronize better. And Bane is now on two minute. Instead of on a four minute, but it's actually ported pretty well. Yes, never struggled? Nah. Yeah, once it, if attack speed ever goes from 0 to 2, DS is going to die, I think. I don't think people are going to want to play the class anymore after that. It's so different after it. Culvert Hell Attack, though. Only one cast of Snake now, and Bane is weaker. Yeah, you'll have to find a way around that. But I'm guessing that you're... Comparatively, that your Culvert already was really good, right? Oh... <gasps> Demon Avenger, wow. Oh my god, longer buffs. I, I swear, did you read the first 90% of Demon Avenger? You're like, oh my god, buffs, 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 buffs. This is so good. <laughs> longer buffs. Longer debuffs. Shields can be summoned in the air. Longer debuff. Oh my god, this is all so good. Maximum final damage boost from Frenzy has been decreased from 35% to 20%. <laughs> oh, what? Half the final damage boost. Gone. <laughs> Noise. You pass Aaron? Yes, we did. Sometimes Blood Feast. Oh, and then the Revenant change, which is just a kick in the balls, dude. 15 second duration. Whoa. Should I think mean we can give new characters tall chairs, changed untradeable chairs items to be tradable within the world? If they say transferable within world, then yeah. Battle Mage, nerf, nerf, nerfs. But again, that's already incorporated into these changes here, right? Wild Hunter actually gets a lot of cool stuff. I think I wanted to put Wild Hunter on, on, on big buff, but I wasn't sure. It's like somewhere in between small and big, but like a lot of number adjustments also on the amount of targets. So it, those look like huge buffs, but they aren't actually. 
Uh, beast form is cool though. They basically just get an extra iframe. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. The summons should do better as well. Medium? Yeah, but I didn't want to make like 65 different categories of, <laughs> of puff. <laughs> so I wanted to keep it slightly, you know. And mechanic has got like a whole list of changes here as well. All in all, it's not huge though, but it is a little bit to everything. Amount of targets hit, that kind of stuff. Damage prioritization. Xenon slightly, you know, you know the attack range increasing by 2% on the Purge Lob Masquerade Bombardment. That's really, you know, that's gonna save this character. <laughs> that's what you need. 2%, 3% delay decrease. Yes. Now the, I think the big change was the overload mode here. Increase from two seconds to one second. MP consumption per second in the chain from one plus 180 to two percent plus 100. So now you want lower MP again. Uh, plasma current will no longer activate special cores. And the aiming time is decreased for each uh, attack hit on photon ray. So that should hopefully allow you to charge the photon ray a lot faster and get that damage out of there. Blaster, I don't even know enough about the blaster to say what changed, but... Oh, they were also 4 minute, yeah, yeah. So they were 4 minute to 2 minute as well. On their maximized cannon. 50% to 35% from 4 minute to 2 minute. Uh, skill improved on Vulcan Punch that you're not affected by critical status effects during the key down. Panel damage boost when hit has been removed, okay. Uh, this skill will now instantly reload all bullets except those consumed by Burning Breaker when used, and you can now input the skill key again while using it to instantly activate the explosion with one second of invincibility. So that's a little bit more utility on all of these skills. Pretty access this dock. This is all through exclamation mark classes on the right side. It's got the upcoming changes that are not live yet in KMS. They're also part of the boost. Uh, sorry, not boost notes. The the um, patch notes from. Orange Mushroom, who translates the Korean patch notes when they come out, which I think are a lot more complete and pleasant to look at and more intuitive than the GMS ones are. Which is also the suggestion I gave when I was over there on Monday. Look at the key down and change the ducking and sway. Kaiser! Oh! Dude, I'm telling you, everyone should be playing Kaiser, man. Kaiser's some good ass shit. Maybe should maybe should Terra burn Kaiser. Maybe Buck is too. Uh, what's it called? Why is this guy countering every single attack? Yeah, cool bunch of extra stuff. Uh, you have the final final trans from 300 seconds to 240, which is big. Faster targeting on the strike. Will of Swords change. Some good stuff, okay. Keen, got a bunch of buffs, but nothing too crazy from what I heard. Cadena's got some weird shield now. But uh, yeah, a lot of changes here as well. Again, we already went over all of these twice so this will be the third time so I'm gonna be I'm okay on that at this point woo woo Yeah, they can actually start tank. They go from really low in survivability to, when played correctly, actually very high in survivability.
is like an untapped block of I have my my reser to use. How did you just get to do that again? This is fucking unreal. Feel the stun, you have to try again. Uh, Angelic Buster changes, action delay down, debuff. Yeah, the Fidu Fiducia cooldown going from 20 to 60 seconds is some good shit. Because you don't want to have to like spam that skill in between. It's a little bit, a little bit, yikes. Where's Dice Fix? I don't know if Korea doesn't know about the dice uh, being broken or if they just... Um, or, they, or they just didn't have it. Maybe it's an EU, uh, EU. maybe a GMS thing. Quality of life, quality of life, quality of life, good shit. Uh, zero gets a merged aura, but it's actually a nerf. <laughs> if you didn't need the attack speed. Because instead of getting weapon attack, you now get jump and speed. Rip. Uh, burst step should be a teleport now, though. So you can use it to, like, teleport through lotus lasers and shit. You know, because burst step didn't have enough utility already. Very, very low tier mobility skill. Uh, but the crit rate should be fixed now between the two modes, so that you always have your 100% easily. Combat recovery should have green pluses now instead of red ones, which you are not allowed to use because you're not part of the Red Cross. Um, or shattering damage. Oh yeah, limit break also was a 4 minute, yeah, so that's also from 4 minute to 2 minute on that. Join attack, whole lot of numbers, just a little bit more damage, okay? And shadow flash more damage, so all the big skills just do more. Looks like our got shot on hard. Not hard, but we did. Um, not hard, but we did definitely get nerfed. Yeah. Some other classes got it worse, but Arc definitely did get nerfed. I mean, the whole thing that they're trying to do is they're trying to bring all the classes together, right? And Arc was still doing well in some stuff. I think Arc and Arc is getting buffed after this to uh, because they did say that the damage was lower than what they intended for them. But there, there are definitely a lot of classes that are still kind of, you know, not doing as bad as well. Like Kinesis, right, uh, was not doing as well, or like Pathfinder. Like they, these classes still need more help. So it feels weird if you're a, if you're an Arc main. But you can also understand that if all the other classes just are not in as good as a position, they need help more than you do. And what's going to happen is that people are going to like catch up to you. But it's better to have to to realize that you have been ahead of classes and have been able to progress faster for a while. Rather than to just, you know, over-focus on the thing that you lost, right? Okay. Uh, Awakening, final damage boost. Decreased because it was moved to somewhere else, I believe. So a lot of the final damage from Kinesis was, like, taken away from being optional and was built into being all the, all the, uh, all the way there all the time. Buff Xenon back. <laughs> oh, welcome back, by the way, TRK. How you been, bro? Aaron needs buffs. Aaron's getting some buffs, yeah. Uh, Adele. The feature of the final damage being increased based on the number of enemies being attacked and removed. The base damage on the resonance is so high. So 500%. <laughs> oh yeah, Great Proclamation cooldown decreased from 90 seconds to 10. <laughs> so lower damage, but you can actually keep, you know, different bodies of different bosses. You can always... So the ID is now going to be really, really easy to count as a always on IED in your calculations rather than, you know, one that you can kind of count as a surplus in, ca in case uh, it works. Uh, and the delayed decrease for Blossom should make your Noble Summons and Blossom combo a lot faster and make it so that you don't miss that one nearly as much. Um, oh yeah, they made it so that you can, can't accidentally cancel your shield if you're spamming the key. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing with Restore. And Storm now gets saved by Buff Freezers and only consume MP when cast. It doesn't consume your swords anymore. Yeah, so for like the first time in ever, I guess the Adele is getting some buffs. Because <laughs> Adele was seeing only nerfs for probably the two years after it was released. Which made sense, because it was a really, really, really strong character for that whole time. How's Nightwalker? We'll have to see. Uh, I mean, they're getting a new kit, they're getting a bunch of new stuff, but they have two ranks of attack speed higher, right? Than, uh, than what we know them for, so... It's going to mean that you have to... 
kind of check how the gameplay is and you're gonna have to try a lot of stuff like try with uh uh, what's it called? Like with sticky keys, try without sticky keys, try a bunch of different maps and see what works for you. Because we can look at what KMS does, but since they have two, you know, two rank attack speed difference, it might be just different enough that you have to... What? No, I can't do that. Um, you might have to reinvent the wheel a little bit on that one. It's going to be a different wheel. Ilium. Oh god, I forgot all the changes to Ilium. But I think it was just mainly, was targeting and then longer... Oh, more damage. More damage on Javelin, on Glory Wings Javelin. The skill's been improved so that if Crystal Gate disappears faster than its remaining duration, the cooldown will be decreased by 50% of the remaining duration. That's nice, but I think Crystal Gate will more get the... Now it's just like a damage thing, but it'll more get the function of actually being a gate and being a teleporter when all the changes go through with uh, with no totem and no totemage. Look at Aaron yet? Yeah, you're like the fourth person to ask that. Yeah, we did look at Aaron, yeah. I mean, we looked at Aaron six months ago, right? So like six months ago, the information was already out there. It's been available in all my commands all that time. It's been in videos all the time. Did you look at Aaron? <laughs> I t I, at this point, I don't know who's joking anymore. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I've already looked at all these things six months ago. I'm just trying to refresh a little bit to see what the general thing that we're doing is again. Yeah, all the arc changes. There's actually some mobility changes that are good, but... Just like a lot of... Like a Battle Frenzy stack duration went up. It's like, okay, but... <laughs> that doesn't really help us if we no longer do damage, you know? But yeah, so the Pistol Recall damage uh, will go up a lot after Destiny, uh, sorry, after Ignition. Uh, right now it's in a very shitty situation. Um, and the change of Infinity Spell and Abyssal to 120. It's going to be really, really weird to play uh, Arc after these changes. Uh, and bad. <laughs> but yeah. I fixing loaded dice XP bug? Nope. Someone already just asked that. I don't think it's something that is either known or exists in Korea. So that would have to be like a separate thing that we get a fix for, completely separate of like patches. It's not like one of those things that's a, that's a known bug and we just have to wait for a later version for it to get fixed. Like right now, I don't think people, uh, I don't think KMS knows that it is a thing that needs a fix. Hmm. But yeah, so Ark uh, kind of gets fucked. Lara just gets a whole bunch of mini fixes and mini buffs. Nothing huge, but uh, at least no nerfs, right? So that's like a yay. A little, little bit of a yay. One of these days and we're just going to get through here. When I initially made the discovery of the loaded die, I also posted on a bug forum. I was replied the info was relayed to the team. Yeah. So expect to fix in about six months. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. 
Ho Young had some change. What, what changed to Ho Young again? Was it just skill priority? Uh, oh, the bind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bind changed in a similar way that the Buffadel's Nightwalker bind. bind changed. Buffadel. <laughs> oh, they did a little bit, Matt. They did a little bit. Un petit peu. Thank you to Prime Man. One month away from one year. Get that beautiful new batch. Thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. If Mensis is going to fix something, you don't need to remind him every six months. Yeah, if, if Mensis is going to fix something, he's going to do it. There's no need to remind him every six months. He says he'd do it. Uh, yeah, and the tonic now instantly fills your um, your bar and then does the overtime energy after that. So it's like a double whammy now. So that's on Dawn Warrior. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know when I play it. It's got two extra ranks of attack speed versus on paper and everything we've seen from Korea. So we're going to have to get some on hands experience to figure out. I think it looks interesting with the extra, you know, extra space element to it. I think some people probably feel a certain kind of way, especially if they've been playing the class for a long time, that they changed the identity quite a bit when the whole purpose was to not change the identity of the classes, right? <laughs> uh, I imagine some people feel a certain way about that, but we'll have to see how it plays, you know. And this stuff is not going to be in the game just yet, I don't believe. The multiplier for the... Uh, multiplier. Oh, is the only one? Uh, One-handed... Sword? Yeah, that's not in yet. Um, that's only like a bug fix anyway. It's not really a... It doesn't change damage. Is Dawn Warrior stronger than Zero? Yeah, Zero is probably still one of the weakest classes. But that's because they're predominantly a mobber and a support. So if it comes to damage output, they're probably one of the... One of the weakest. But they outscale Dawn Warrior in supportive capability, in mobility, mobility and survivability. Um, in binding, you know, and keeping bosses bound and everything. So they they have a very very different profile as a class. Okay, so those are all the skill changes things. Um, but those are like two and one, right? Those are two and one in in these patch notes, but without any pictures. So hopefully that was a slightly different way of going through it. Um, now we're at Monster Park. Cool. So what changes to Monster Park? The levels slightly changed uh, on when you can go in, but you can still start going in at 105, which you want to do, right? Zakum 100, try to get to 105, then do Monster Park, get those free levels. Um, they added a whole bunch of areas. So they changed the maps for Vanishing Journey, Choo Choo, Lachlan, and Mysterious Forest Arcana, because they basically didn't want people to just spam Knight Stronghold to get the clears because the higher level ones were too slow. They wanted people to do the higher level ones and get that EXP faster. Uh, so they try to make it easier to navigate those um, those monster parks. So if you're used to not doing them and just spamming Stronghold because it was faster, make sure you check them out, see if your character can do them pretty fast so you can get the high EXP and the high reward together rather than having to choose one or the other. Uh, or choosing both and then and, and fast, I guess. That's, that's more the <laughs> rewards versus speed, you know, and being able to do both. Okay, both my resers just nipped. Okay, let's so redo that one. Uh, and then they added all of the new areas in one go. So they added uh, Morass, Asphara, Celus, and the Moonbridge. So four more. Uh, those are going to open on November 30th for some reason. I don't know why they need two extra weeks for that. Uh, and Monster Park comes with... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Add a text to the following achievement descriptions that Monster Park Extreme Clear is excluded. Right. And I guess Monster Park Extreme would be here. Yeah. So Monster Park Extreme is going to be open, which is for level 260 plus. This is going to be a lot of EXP and basically just an extra daily on the list. Uh, so I guess we'll check exclamation mark dailies. Boom, boom. Yep. And squeeze it in at 260, which will be around... Dun, 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 dun. Where Varus Hill is. Entered one row above. Monster. Oh, I guess I should write it like that. No. Extreme. 
No prequests. Nice. Lost a little line here. Let's add that back. There we go. Crazy EXP party monster park run. I don't know why this is all blue and underlined, because I'd never asked for that. Probably because you just copied the, uh, the editing from the other one. Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, this does not have a direct link yet either, so it should be just regular here as well. Then add it here above Fihela. Okay, added that. Uh, party of one to four, level one six. I guess if you're really sl really strong, you can duo it. But we'll just probably do it with the same party that's doing the the symbol dailies, right? And just hop in and do that as well. Because there are hyperlinks. Yeah, but this one isn't a hyperlink, and it is still blue and underlined, so that's not the reason why this one is a is blue and underlined, right? Do -do 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 Spiegelman informs you the type and number of enemies. So yeah, so basically there should be like a recipe, it should be information on the map, it shows you what do you need to kill, how many you need to kill, you find them in the map, you kill them, and then the big old monkey will spawn somewhere you go damage the monkey as much as you can while he's summoned and you keep you repeat that until you kill the monkey and when my monkey is dead it's completed or he's called extreme bigfoot whatever and once he's dead you get big old exp um oh you do get monster park days of the week box wait a minute so Monster Park Extreme can be cleared only once a day per world. Yeah, clear gun isn't deducted if you fail to clear or exit midway. But you do get a Monster Park Days of the Week box. But it doesn't count for... Monster Park EXP, Monsters on your Monster to a right, Theme Park Scream. Or DC Midway, yeah, if you DC. <laughs> if you DC, you know, should that ever, in the exceptional case, you know, like if you have a delay on your flight or something, you know, like highly exceptional that that should ever happen. But Back to work, I go, I'll probably be back when the servers come up. All right, see you, TRK, have a good one. Is that undoable solo as a 261 Kana? Yeah. Unless you have to be like decked out of your mind, probably. As a 261 Kana, you probably don't want to be able to. You don't want to try to solo that, no. <laughs> you could try, but don't think you can. Monsters are pretty damn strong. It's best to just find a party. You'll try to find people in your buddy list and guild and your, in the chat, maybe, who want to do the daily and just ask around, you know? Yikes, yeah, so you'll never be able to do that. I mean, do you play on a private server without other people on it? Then yeah. I mean, remember, it's an MMORPG, right? So. It's a social game, social experience. Try to contact, reach out to other people. Network, that's how you get parties, that's how you do high level bosses. So you math is Carter. <laughs> League's blind, thank you for three months, dude. Appreciate the prime. Congrats on your silver badge upgrade. Good luck with your studying. Hope you pass your exam soon. Uh, Rachelu, Narc, Mayo, Total Carbs, Hamasumi, Mr. King Drew, thank you for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Guild, what's one of those? Oh, you, if you're not in a guild, you definitely want to get in a guild. Guild skills are an insane damage increase. You need yourself one of those. I should have been zoomed in a little bit more here. Boss difficulty adjustments. Uh, Varus Hilla normal. HP decreased. They took a bar away from her. Instead of three, it's just two bars. Decreased soul fragment damage from 20% of max HP to 15. Decreased the uh, count when the interval of soul hover spanner changes from two to one. Change the time when it changes from when Varus Hilla's HP is at 66.33 to 50%. And then normal Saren HP decreased in one and two, and then a bunch of you know stuff taken out. Uh, increase the duration of the warning attack signs effect in phase two dusk. Increase the usage interval of firearm. 
uh, and decrease some of Saren's forward rush attacks in phase one and two midway dusk and dawn. I've never done this boss, but there's like different color phases in the second one. So they're just making it not do as many attacks and not be as spooky to kill. <laughs> so you actually have a better chance of destroying El, El Capitan. Lock revive. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, map changes. Surprise missions will no longer appear. Rip. Surprise missions. It's been a good run. Honestly, though, surprise missions were fun here every now and then. Except when you needed them for like a haste event or something like that. And then we're just sitting there waiting for them to spawn. I'm, I'm kind of just glad they're off the table completely. If we can't have them in a good way, then just don't have them at all. You know. <laughs> she burned shade or Lara. Uh, what's the goal? What's the goal for the for the burn? Yeah, the random lag spike every time a <laughs> surprise mission popped up, I thought I was crashing every single time. So that PTSD is gone now at least a little bit. So that's uh, that's cool. Um, remove the Rune of Swiftness and improve the effect of Rune of Purification and Rune of Contact. Uh, honestly, I mean, with the attack speed that we have, Rune of Swiftness rarely did anything for us, right? So it's not a huge loss. Uh, ease the activation requirement for Rune of Purification, right? The little, the, the, the diamond that you have to summon. So for lower level characters, sometimes it was actually quite hard to activate the Rune of Purification just because of how many monsters you need to kill and how quickly you needed to kill it. So you want to make sure that even low level characters can easily get the activated Rune of Purification to get that extra kill speed. Uh, unbeatably, thank you for the Prime, man. Welcome to the Scott Tracks, Guys, thanks for bad, beautiful and thank you for supporting the channel, my dude. Appreciate the Prime. Thank you, Um... HP of elite bosses and some functions changed apparently. Uh, 20 seconds of invincibility upon summoning won't be applied. So if an elite boss spawns on your map, you can just nuke him instantly, get rid of him. Because it's so annoying that you have to wait for them to, you know, you're sitting there waiting for them to become targetable. Other people coming to your map, you're just all hanging out. And um, you're just like circle jerking a little bit until you can actually go kill the boss. Why are you so... Oh, thank you for Prime as well. Welcome to you, as well as the discussions of the and the channel. And, why are you so... Ooh, ooh. And Wolfheim, but the Prime as well. Oh my god, you guys are priming. Oh, we're priming into another scam train. No, I mean a hype train. Oh my god, we're so hyped right now. Any any more primers in the chat? Anyone got their, their Prime hanging out? Oh, uh, remember, November is still the, uh, the ad month, so get your Primes out to get rid of all the ads on the channel. Or get turbo. If you watch a lot of streamers, a lot of people in the Beam Brigade and stuff like that, consider getting turbo. It makes the entire website of twitch.tv ad-free. Definitely consider that. Better more DK is way more forgiving to play. DK is in good position, for sure. Uh, total enemies on the map will continue to exist while boss appears, so that's cool. And I believe they also added those bosses. I'm not quite sure if you'll see that already. Probably later in the patch notes. But added all of those bosses as well to the grandest areas. So that could be nice. Prime, my check. Well, we just got three, so a lot of people already priming. Uh, timer and map effect won't display uh, when elite boss appears. Elite boss will disappear in 10 minutes, like before, even if you don't defeat it. Elite boss appearance notification message surrounding maps. Yeah, so you won't be able to see if someone else gets a boss anymore, though. So if there is a thing where you need to kill a boss for a for an event or for a daily check or something like that, it's going to be harder to find them. And they decrease the weapon defense and magic defense to five seconds, just so you know you can kill a little bit more smoothly and you don't have to wait forever to kill the things. Anything change for Pathfinder? Yeah, there are definitely some Pathfinder changes. I think I still have the command in here, don't I? Nope, that's Monster Park Extreme Rip. Uh, but as always, all the stuff is on here or in the patch notes, so you can always find it quickly there. 
Do do. Enter the following elite boss in Cernium with Hidel Arcus. Oh, well, there we are. You can obtain rare treasure chest and EXP orb upon defeating them. And improvements for uh, elites. They don't affect the number of monsters spawned in the map. Inferno Wolves then will divide into three types. So you have the normal one that's up to level 199. Then you up to 259, you have the Chaos. And 260 and above, you have the Extreme Inferno Wolf. Hmm, 259 and 260. Let me see if. Oh, I have 269 as an interval. So close. So close. Um, change the rewards. Oh my god, the rewards are actually noticed here. I have never. I don't even know what they were. Moderate, substantial. Oh yeah, but you don't know how much this means. They should say this. I think this is a percentage of the of the monster's HP, but I'm not sure. Incredible damage and defeat. One super advanced upper body. <laughs> super advanced. Wow. Be ranked uh, based on whether you defeated the wolf or the damage inflicted, and item and EXP rewards will be given based on the rank. True. Change the Inferno Wolf's den combat time limit from 30 to 20 seconds. What row, row? And some achievement changes. Oh, yeah. Svetia's Totem slash Bounty Hunter. Yeah, we can look at the. Um, oh, God. Do we need to drag out the. You know, all the orange mushroom. Patches for this one. Do, 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 do. That's the extreme, and this is the. Uh, it's three of them, dude. Uh, oh, oops, other order. Here we go. Um, bounty. I call bounty hunter portals, right? Okay, why are you telling me it's here when it's not here? Okay, let's try that again. Bounty. Okay, good job, search function. Uh, where is it? Hmm. Oh, actually, it might be part of this. Oh, it is here. Haha. <laughs> so it's going to look like... Yeah, so this is going to be the NPC. This is going to be what the portal looks like. And this is going to be the actual... Meme. You go in the portal. Boom. And then I think you just hit the totem pole. Oh, you have to time it. Ooh, damn. Perfect. And you have to try to get through the entire totem pole. <laughs> Some real interactive game content. Look at this. Isn't this a great new way to interrupt your training chat? Boom, get your EXP. And you're done, so. Amazing. Uh, if you defeat all of the totems, you can acquire a higher amount of experience. Bounty Portal daily entry limit and just adjust it to 15. Uh, bounty Hunter Portal is 15, new Bounty Hunter Portal is 5. Yeah, and there's something like, and this portal will appear every fourth time or something. So it's just some different uh, different stuff. Uh, so that's what they mentioned here. Um, added the achievements for that. Yeah, wolf. Uh, changed the Inferno Wolf auto disappear time for, from two hours to one hour. I mean, in this day and age, Inferno Wolf just gets blown the fuck up. Like, it doesn't get the chance to disappear, so it's fine. Um, these are some small ass changes, some small fixes. I'm not going to read all of this because it's just a, you know, because we, we read all of that at some point already. Just small extra things. Change the image for some maps, NPCs, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, monster placement and terrain of some maps has been improved. So it, it's possible if you're doing like a prequest in an area that you did a long time ago in another character that the areas look a little bit different. Try to add more uh, tradeability, not tradeability, trainability to these maps. And hopefully in the quest of post totem training, uh, there should be more valuable maps in there that can help us out getting good rates. But will it be worth? Will what be worth it? The portal? Oh, that's something that we'll have to see, right? Scaling on that kind of stuff is always weird. Watching Kobe's, it's affected by EXP buffs and it's pretty damn good. Okay. Seems like a good one then. Are all the portals worth going into? Well, right now, one of the main deciding factors that decides whether it's go worth going into or not is are you realistically going to be losing your map if you do go into one, right? You want to make sure that if you get a little bit of extra EXP by going into one, you don't exit and then have no map anymore and then have to CC a bunch of times to get your map back because then it's never a plus. On low level, you pretty much always want to do it, right? Because even if someone gets into your map, you can just CC like no buttons in those map, maps for a long time. Um, the Frito just for bonuses, the Poyo is always good EXP. But with this special one, it... I mean, if what Kobe says, or the person said Kobe said is true, um, then it should be worth going into. But I think once we're in a post totem era, we'll see a lot more. Well, we'll see a lot less that people just like take your maps because we're not going to have certain maps that are way more popular than others. The general popularity of a lot of maps is going to be more similar. And if anything, people are going to be chasing more high level burn maps. So if you're in a very high level burn map, probably don't use those uh, portals. Uh, if it's a, if it's a somewhat popular map and high level burn, but if it's low level burn and or not a popular map, then you could probably use those portals. You know, shouldn't be in them for too long, and uh, it might be a nice little way of kind of disrupting the endless flow of training. You know, is leveling training guide still pretty accurate? Well, well, for low level, yeah, but for higher level, it's going to completely change, which is kind of a good thing because I don't want to have like. They won't have to tell everyone where they should go train. That should be part of the gameplay is to try to like figure out where to train or to just, you know, ask people in your class discord on like where are you guys training and try to share information there. And not just be like a fucking leech of information, but also be contributing with all the things that you've tried, you know. Be like, oh, I tried these four maps. I got these results. What do you guys get? Kind of compare, uh, compare results and then see um, maybe you fucked something up. Maybe the other person fucked something up. Maybe you, you know, discover something new by putting your information together. Uh, but not just like looking at a list and just going to the list, right? I hope that everyone becomes a much more um, active part of trying to get the information out there and maybe not as much rely on or even needing to meet for to have some giant list that you can just copy over and just reproduce. You don't have to enter the original portals for the special portal to pop up. Yes, that's correct. It'll just at one every four Every fourth one will pop up will be one of the special por uh, purple ones. You don't have to, like, go in to count it as one so that, you, so that you do three and then the fourth one shows up as that. That's not how it works, yeah. You can rewards by creating a new Cygnus Knight versus Explorer. Yes. That's under, what is it, exclamation mark Cygnus? I don't know. There was a Reddit thread over that. I put it in some command if anyone remembers which one it is. Stamp drop the mobbing data for contribute. Yep, that's... uh. I don't know if I'm going to drop it, but it'll definitely have to change quite a bit, yeah. Maybe we'll have we'll have to make some kind of way. Maybe if we get con progress with the website, maybe we'll just make that a member-only thing where members can uh, share the data and look at other people's data. Like, only if you've shared some data can you look at the actual... Uh, can you actually look at the grid and see all the numbers that are in there? Something like that. But then we'll have to vet that the numbers aren't just like made up or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Because it should be like community based and not be like a bunch of people who are just like leeching off of it and a bunch of other people who are doing all the work. That kind of sucks. Because people who are volunteers and people who do want to do those things already get disproportionately taken advantage of. So it's not really fair to perpetuate that. When you fight special supporters, the other ones won't spawn anymore though. Yeah. Yeah, there's a max. If you hit the max, then you don't get the other ones. But that's per character though, right? You can still... I believe it's not per account, but per character, so you should be able to do it on other characters. But it'll take a while to get that many portals anyway. Most placement terrain of uh, below hunting zones have been improved. 
a lot more. Nice, nice, nice. Other changes. Shader quality. Uh, oh, yeah. This was, I think, yeah, for performance. So you might want to fuck around with this a little bit, but... Under the graphics, quality, effects, you can fuck around with the shader. Okay. So definitely look at that if you have trouble with the performance of your game in certain regions. Or if the game looks funky in some kind of... Uh, some spots. Um, so Alien Visitor, Monad, and Julieta will no longer be accessible. Hopefully you guys got all the stuff from there that you wanted. Also, of course, the totems are no longer purchasable in the reward shop. So hopefully you bought out all of those before the patch as well. Uh, Sprout Potion, Arrow, uh, Appearance Reset Coupon added to the Android shop. Oh, thank God, added arrows. Wait, arrows? Arrow for box. <laughs> Wait, that's supposed to be arrow for bow. Vera, I got you, man. I told you. I told you I'd get you. Arrow for box. Someone tweeted at him. Um, wait. <laughs> Let me shoot him a message on Discord. Uh, Which guys you pick for being bossing mule, Dawn Warrior, or Zero? I pick Dawn Warrior. Yeah, you can actually kill the bosses a lot faster. As a Zero, you'll have a take way more time to get to the point where you can solo bosses. The point of a boss mule is to log in, kill the boss, log out. Right? If you're playing a uh, Zero, you're going to be um, you're mainly a support. So the amount of damage you will have to fund a character to to be able to do those bosses quickly is going to be way higher than on Dawn Warrior. Uh, didn't you know the new ranged weapon will be boxes? <laughs> Just you fucking Crash Bandicoot over here. Crash Bandicoot class throwing apples and boxes around. Um, Monster Life. Dominator box. The Dominator box? What the fuck is the Dominator box? The box that has the Dominator pendant in it? When did we last have one of those? Is that not a good boss meal? Yep. Everybody's about to expire from their magic duration will turn back into dolls quicker. Thank you. So I don't, so you don't bait me into thinking I still have a pet, and then suddenly I don't. <laughs> um, damage effect performance was improved. Improved the performance of numbers. Okay. Issue with the game client slowed down or crashed during combat has been improved, or well. Diminished it should be uh, overall performance regarding effect display improved project skills a uh, projectile sorry skills performance improved Legendary boss damage 30% will no longer appear. Thank God using red cube black cube and Meister's cube uni cube violet cube and cube of equality uh, If you get a prime boss damage line, it'll always be 35 or 40 now um, However, boss damage will no longer appear on level 50 to 100 equipment that only had legendary boss damage plus 30. Oh, rip. Sets that were previously given to the item will be capped and will only be applied when potential is newly reset by using cubes. Yeah, so they agree that the number is too small and it should be increased, but if you have an item that has like 30% top line and then 20% boss, and then like 9% attack or something, that's still gonna stay, even though it should be a 35 and a 30. So you're just getting stiffed out of 15% damage, and you'll still have to roll for it. <laughs> Thank you! Next on. Uh, the all skills level increase that no longer appears when using a Magnificent Soul, thank God. Because uh, I got it twice, <laughs> going through my Magnificent Souls on my uh, Liberated Weapon. Wild Totems will no longer be available in the Maple Reward Shop. Gotta do a small... Uh, The end of an era.
Uh, I'm going to wait for each 30 minutes of extended maintenance. When the servers come back, am I dead or alive? I think you're going to be okay. I expect you to have to do at least, like, uh, at most, like, four or five beers, I think. I think you should do the challenge. If the game comes up in time, no drinks. But then if the game goes down for a DMT, then double the drinks on the DMT. I think that's the... I think that's a, a true double down. The mean boss damage is likely to appear 33% less with the removal of 30% boss damage. No, they threw it on the same pile. Instead of 30 and 35, they're just squeezed into the the odds are just squeezed into 35 instead. If you were to get a 30 before, it'll just ch get changed into a 35, except if the item was between level 50 and 100 apparently. Then it's just flat out removed. You have any favorite classes this coming patch? Um Oh, we did go over Kaiser. Kaiser changes looks quite look quite good. I mean, favorite. I don't know. If you're just looking at OP, you just go Demon Slayer again. It's, I mean, tail us all this time, but that shit is looking really OP. If you want super high key input stuff, the Cadena is is looking really strong. Um, Blaster is also getting some love. Um, I don't know. Something <laughs> something just wants me to say like that the. I feel like Wild Hunter and Kaiser, I mean, like, classes not really mentioned or in any list ever. But I feel like both of them are getting a lot of love this update. So anyone who's playing those classes or has them as side characters, definitely give them definitely give them a, a gander. Try to play them a little bit and see how it is. I think from all the... Um, there's a lot of stigma to, go, to, to get over with all of the Cygnus classes. But I think if people really give a solid chance to Blaze Wizard, I think a lot of people are going to like it way more than they possibly thought. But it's going to be rough, because a lot of people play off of, like, what is OP. Um, and it's still not going to be at the OP at all, of course. So it's going to feel... I don't know. People who give it a chance, though, will probably find that it's a way better class than they ever heard or thought it was going to be. Link to the Google Sheet. It's, it's, it's where it always went. This is under exclamation mark classes. And then this link goes to this here. The regular will be any good. So many people are going to play Dawn Warrior. I think that I mean I think all the classes are going to be good. But the real question with Thunderbreaker is how fast is it going to be, and what it, what is it going to allow you to do with the extra two ranks of attack speed? I wonder if the game is going to be able to keep up with how fast you're going to be zooming through the map. You might absolutely just completely break the game and crash. For example, I I, I don't know if they've to which extent they've tested it all on. Um, on test server and everything, but I could totally see the game just like imploding on itself with how quick you are. Uh, are the big nerf for explorer mages and that's yeah, still here? Yeah, that's that's what's coming here. As well as the nerf to um, that's why it's here, right? That's what this big red box is here. Those are the mages arc and then the battle mage and then the shade and the da. Those are the ones that lost by far the most in uh, in this update. Picking for ignition where we don't need the pocket slot. Yes, I believe that's in this one via extreme. Yeah, I can always you can always just open up the patch notes right and just do Control F for um, for pocket and then you'll probably find it. Uh, let me add these patch notes that we're looking at to the. Uh, to exclamation mark patch at least, so you guys can get the direct link.
Okay, monster collection is changing, but also totems are gone, so who gives a fuck about monster collection anymore? Literally dead content right now. RIP. Why would they do that? Exclamation mark reward point video is gonna have to take a hit as well. Gonna have to start making a giant list of all the things that need to be adjusted now <laughs> with this update. <laughs> oh. Outfit presets, uh, that's this thing, right? Uh, no, is that this thing? Yeah, you can make the you make NX outfit presets <laughs> for the belugas and up among us. Why sponsor collection dead? Because really the, the main reason why you would do it is for the reward points. But with totems being gone, you barely need any reward points to cap out on everything every month. So there's no real point in building up your monster collection anymore. If you really like the content, definitely go for it. But it's no longer required in any kind of way to be able to still buy out your stuff in the reward shop. Isn't there cube chairs now? Uh, I'll, I'll see what else is in there. But at this point, I haven't seen anything that will be added in there. Uh, kind of F reward. Uh, shop? What do they call it? A rewards shop. The, I see the rewards shop is only mentioned once in the patch, so I don't know where you got that info for cube chairs. If there is, they haven't consistently named it in here. Add notes to monster collection rewards. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. A red card in there. For the 24 hour ones, like a one in a bajillion chance. Uh, so that's outfit presets, NPC improvements. Improvements. Oh my god, the Ghost Park General Store now sells nearest town pet snack and appearance reset coupons as well as sprout potions. Okay. Another thing, Go guys, remember to do your Ghost Park dailies, right? And your weeklies? Okay, good. Uh, arrows for bow and arrow for crossbow. Arrow for bow, arrow for crossbow. Very important as well. Scribing, go, go, go. Monster improvements. Improvements made for characters to become invincible before moving to the next phase when defeating bosses. Yes, nice. You can no longer die to weird shit that's just lingering across the map still. <laughs> Changes made for Bonsun and Mulung Dojo's 75th floor to not use the weapon defense increase skill. Thank God. Remember it for all abnormal statuses to be removed after defeating Horntail. The boss's HP UI is displayed when attacking Zakum Arms. Oh my God, they all get a bar. When attacking Genesis Crux with a skill that can be activated with the attack key, only a portion of the damage will be applied. The relevant skills are as follows. Super important, quality of life. Oh God, what is all this? Oh yeah, Star Force enhancement costs reduced by around 20%. Big, big. With NV37. That is this, right? Yeah, okay. Boost note filter feature. You can enter up to three boost skills. So if you're opening like 600 boost nodes on a new character, you can find your tri nodes more easily. <laughs> how many How many time left? At least three. At least three time. If you check search skill one as the main skill. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm pretty sure if you're equipping a special node, you can double click or drag and drop to switch to another special node. <laughs> it's crazy how long that took. Like, if you have two special nodes, you can switch one for the other one now. And it won't say, you can't equip two at once in the same slot or something. Uh, you can now use multiple trade items at once. Bro, I'm going to be eating so many trade items. I have a few characters with like a thousand of these things. I'll just like double click, boom, slam them all in. Oh, somebody said ga game is up. Are we going to have our first ban of the day? Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Oh. That's looking like a timeout right there. Give him a 10 minute, boys. Okay, if you have multiple of hair, wax, carrot juice, snake soup, you can get them all. No one else? I'll do it. What is it? Right click again? Oh no, mouse. Middle mouse? What is it again? Oh, here. Do, 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 do. Oh, you got him? Oh, you got him for 10 minutes? There you go. Out, out he goes. 69 minutes. Got him. Um, 
You can do as many as it takes to reach max level at once. If you already reached max level, the item cannot be used. That's fine. But there, most of them are transferable now as well, so you wouldn't even want to use them if that's possible, right? Uh, we're using items that increase maple trains at once. We're going to lower... Sure, sure, sure. Uh, shielding ward, shield scroll, guardian scroll, I don't know. Blah, 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 mistakenly. Auction house, non-reboot shit. I don't care about any of this. Uh, oh yeah, it shows the items stored in storage in expiring items message. Okay. This is great for me because I take items, really special rare items, okay, from events. I put them in storage and then I just let them expire. <laughs> So now, if something is about to expire, but it's in your storage, you should get a message as well when you're logging out, not just what is in your inventory. So that's a good uh, reminder to use those things and not let them disappear forever. You lose shit in storage? Yep. <laughs> Actually, Poggers, I will open up the storage and it'll just be, yeah, be like four, five, six things with a, they have a, a clock on it, but the, the clock will be um, grayed out and be like, oh, rip, I guess I forgot that. Um, gum. Oh, isn't it? Something with gum, right? Gum OF? Gum OF? Something like that? Uh, like, oh, I have this thing to use. It's exp Yeah, rip. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. You can move. Wait. Change it so attempting to disassemble fuse outside of Arnold Mill immediately displays the message that it is unavailable. Nice. You can move pages using page up, page down, and character selection screen. <gasps> nice! Because we have so many. I can just... Uh, change the UI. Page up, page down. Okay, cool. Uh, transparency affects bags as well. Oh. You can view uh, the result without having to watch the cutscene or having to wait for the delay when using usable items in Monster Life. Okay, I'm going to go. Quests in Arcane Area. Bruce, you can search achievements using keywords and Maple Achievements. Nobody cares. Chance you can use skill, detailed info, page, and combat analysis window. A wowie. A wa wow. How is Pathfinder training off totem? I don't know. We've, we've never gotten this far yet. Which sickness only use only one boosting trinode? Honestly, if you are making a bossing mule, you're most of the time using only one trinode. You don't want to get into second trinode type shit. You just pick one that does the most and work, try to get two trinodes from that, two, yeah, two trinodes from that and buff those two. Because you'll mainly want a lot of skill nodes in there if you're a bossing mule. Those will proportionally give you a lot of damage early on. Item improvements. Oh, God. Tooltip of Reboot Gift Box, one of four items have been changed, so it says the included content are untradeable. I don't know why that's necessary, because nothing is tradeable in Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what is this? Notification shows you. How much time more? More 45 minutes. That guy's Israeli as fuck. Benzona! Alex BMZ. Is that. Does BMZ stand for Benzona? Can't wait for the server to come up, Gladge, and then for it to crash. Crash. -j. UI improvements. We'll see all this when we get into the game. Dude, I haven't even gotten to my event calendar yet. Re. Uh. Hide Rose. Do -do. Hide Columns. Do -do. Wow. Insert one column to the right. C? No shot. Wait, what if I do unhide calls? Oh man. Goes all the way to DS. Wait, B and C 
So C and D were never there? Oh. That's weird as well. Stop. Uh, we'll just continue after here, I guess. Da, 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 da. Hide columns. There we go. How many do I have? Five? Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Key change. Three, two, five. Can I read my Discord message? I totally could, but I'm also recording a video and we're already stressed for time as fuck. And we're going through the longest patch notes since Destiny. So that's going to have to wait a little bit. Job balances. Okay, we already went over all of that when we went over all of the cool new stuff that we saw in, uh, in the Orange Mushroom updates. Thank God. So we get to move through all of this, which is quite a bit of stuff. What is what is the deal with Aaron? Did um did Emily send you guys? Is that what's going on? This is all Emily's doing, isn't it? Yes. Oh yeah, we already looked through all of this. No wonder. So we're a little bit front heavy with all the skill changes. So that's that and this at the same time. Lit, but they gave it, no, no, that's old as fuck numbers. I have not updated that forever because the games, the game kept changing too much, too quickly. Plus, with Destiny, uh, with uh, Ignition coming, with all the changes to Sickness Knights, which we couldn't anticipate yet. Plus, with totems being removed, there's too many things changing at the same time. So those numbers have been outdated for quite a while. OMG, look at this. Is it a picture of an Aaron? Agree. Miniature pianos. God, I hate this fucking website. A miniature version of Pianus. What is it? Are you trying to show the chat your small dick? Mission accomplished. Better Maple. Add EXP reward to the daily quest in the Tenebris and Grandis regions. Yes, daily quest EXP reward can be claimed once per world. Sure. Improves made to be a reclaim region max level for sacred symbol. Changed untradeable chair items to be tradable within the world. However, thrones of master symbol of brilliant all your master exorcist chair, Mulung Dojo Conquest chair, con Conquer chair, and Conquer chair. Wouldn't it be Conquest chair or Conqueror chair? Conquer chair sounds a little bit weird. Especially in Dutch, Conquer chair sounds very bad. <laughs> uh, the custom chairs applied per character will be kept untradeable. Uh, added gender classification for cra Crowd 9. Cloud 9 chair, and we will based on gender. Sure thing. Add a max Demon Fury stat to each equipment level for Demon Ages items without the max Demon Fury stat. Um, and this is Star Force. I'm to start a resolution in windowed mode when installing a remove. Sorry for the first time. Sure, great blessing. Sure, 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 sure. You can move to the flag race waiting room via the guild content UI button and talk to the program to participate in the flag race. Only characters with at least a thousand hunting points or forty boss points can challenge the flag race. Okay, but that's a lot less than now. Uh, and you can freely challenge in a party of one to six members of the same guild. However, you cannot enter during the calculation from Sunday eleven thirty to Monday twelve thirty a.m. UTC for flag. Is that already on the resets? Oh, here. Green Defender and Flag Race. Reset at 12.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Dojo, Flag Race, and Green Defender open at 0.030. Okay, updated as well. Cool beans. We're going to display the stun resistance during the boss in the guy. Yeah, so we saw that here, I think, right? Here, so if you have a boss bound, as soon as it's unbound, it'll show up the 90 seconds. So also, as soon as you see that, that 
thing appear, you'll know the boss is unbound, so you no longer have to call to your teammates that the boss is unbound, right? Everyone can see it clearly now. And so when that is up and it goes back down to zero, that means you can bind it again. So for the people who don't know, basically when you bind a boss, it becomes immune to stuns and disables for a while. That's 90 seconds from the end of the bind to the beginning of the next possible bind. So as soon as you see that debuff, um, well, that buff actually, right? It's like a bind resistance buff. As soon as you see that run out, you could bind it again. And since we have a lot of 90 seconds and three minutes stuff, that could be pretty cool to use and, uh, you know, to synchronize all your stuff with. So oh, I guess this is the stuff that we're that we're reading now. Oh, these are all the UIs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so now they're going to be talking about the border order of buddy groups, and the and the the coupons probably right. Display time restricted item icon added a feature that changes the friend group order. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, EXP coupon certain additional XP two hundred percent buff effect items names are changed like. The following. Okay, so here you can see the pictures with them. So now they all look quite different. You see times 1.5, you see times 2. You see MVP on it. If it's this MVP like this, you'll you'll they'll all have slightly different. This one will have EXP. So it'll be a lot easier to see which coupon is which and not accidentally click the wrong thing, which has definitely never happened to me. <laughs> um... These guys are unkillable. What the hell? This is the update we're going to get from the ignition event. Well, we're literally looking at the ignition patch notes. Yeah. Uh, we're just looking at some of the stuff from KMS to have a little bit more pictures and a little bit more context while we're doing that. So additional EXP 50% buff effect items icons will have a plus in the top right corner. And regular EXP coupons items design have been unified to have a maple leaf in the background and the icon. Yeah, so these are like the MVP buffs that stack with all the stuff and these are the base EXP coupons and you can see how much they give. So these stack with these but not with each other in group basically. Pretty straightforward. And now they're probably going to talk about how you can put multiple nodes. So the average trading price, yeah, so that's that part, right? It'll show you when you're trying to buy something, how much the average trading price is, so you know you're not getting ripped off or that you're selling yourself too much. Uh, too short. Uh, reach level 30 charm, the gift of a charming person quest will now be completed automatically, allowing you to use your pocket slot. Wait. Oh, but you still need to get level 30 charm though. I thought they were automatically going to open up the... the pocket thing. Wasn't that what was coming? The vision of make GM and kick member in the guild management right-click menu to prevent mistakes related to changing members' ranks. You have to automatically cast uh, pockets slot when charm reaches level 30. Risk weapon that used to be required to complete the quest no longer drop. Quest that over is already in progress will be automatically completed. Oh, I thought you didn't need to get level 30 charm anymore. So now people are still going to be wasting their their trade boost potions on trying to get a pocket item on their mules. Oh well. I guess we can't fix all the things at once. Uh, change the display skill tab button per job advance regardless of your job advancement state. Also inform the use condition when hovering the mouse on job advancement. The, the tab can't be used yet. Yeah, so you have a little lock on there so you can go there. It'll tell you you need to level first. Rose clipping legacy item? Yeah, I hope I have a few left of those. Uh, the skill tab will now display buttons for all job advancement regardless of your travel. Uh, okay, cool. Amazing. The adventure tutorial story skip has been improved to make the character level 10 after using it. Oh, there it is. So that should be here as well, right? Somewhere. Item bug fixes. Oh, God. Please, let me get to the actual events of this update. Poor Vera, I had to do all of this. He was pretty much done with the patch notes when I got there on uh, on Monday, though. 
He was he was working on the the very last thing and then just had to send it off. I didn't read the whole thing though, but <laughs> I saw that he was uh, very much nearly done with it. Monster bug fix bug fixes. <gasps> what happens in chaos? Vellum. Fix the issue of the image sometimes looking awkward once the stun status ends after using a stun skill. Yeah, sometimes he'll just appear, right? And then disappear again. Really strange. And then you can't really see the indicator very well cause, because he's already there. Fix the issue of the client closing right after entering Guardian Angel Slime boss fight. I've heard some people had this. Okay. Hopefully that wouldn't be... This release released today? Yeah, should be released in about half an hour. We'll see, though, if they manage to release it on time or not. Fix the issue of the Nightmare Golem being summoned where the music box is on the right during Lucid Boss Fight Normal Phase 1. <laughs> is he not supposed to be summoned that far? Okay. Bug fixes. Oh my god. NPC fixes. Maybe other fixes. Jeez. System bug fixes. Mulong Dojo bug fixes. Skill bug fixes. My. Oh my days. These are all in the command as well, so you can check all of these. Jesus. Alright, actual event. Here we go. Finally. Hyper burning. Thank the lord. We're, we're already here. Pause champ. Pog champ. All of the champs. Hyper burning. Why are you blue, italic, and underlined? I never said that you should be that. Uh, can I boom to top? Hyper uh, burning. Boom. Control C. Bam. Bam. Insert link. Bam. Apply. There you go. Oh, we didn't do these yet. Um, Unhide Rose. Tee -tee -tee. Nov. We're going on to Nov. To Feb 7th. Oh, dude. I said end of January, early February. There we go. We, the official date, Feb 7th. Oh, God. Nov uh, 23 to Nov 29. Nov 30 to... What? Nov 5? Fuck. Uh, d deck 5? Ah, you can't use arrow. I forgot about that. Is it deck five? What's going on? Deck six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down. Deck seven? What are the other? Oh, thanks. Hello? Oh my god, it's New Year! 2023! Oh my god, 2023 is already coming in, coming in hot, boys. Oh, 17. Jab. Oh my god, it's already Feb over here. Oh no, it's Jen. Jen 31st, and then Feb. Feb 1 to Feb 7. Um. And then Feb 8 to Feb 14 is new um, patch. Not text heavy by any means, but is there another way to have a patch installed before the actual time it's supposed to go out, then just be loaded instantly? Why have these A+. Plus? Uh, the way the game works and the, the game's code and everything works, I believe what happens is they... Um, when you're installing the game, you have to 
basically there's like eight giant files and every single file just gets like has to, has to get completely updated and completely patched and then put back into your your folder uh, I don't know about like pre-patching and all that stuff I don't know if the game has I guess I mean I guess it has to right they wouldn't take the game down if they didn't absolutely have to do that so I would assume it's necessary Clover went all the way to February 28th. Oh, there's longer stuff? Oh, Jesus. Well, then I have to add some. Insert one row below. One row below. Two row below. Feb 15 to Feb 22? No, 21. And then Feb 22 to Feb 28. And that's the last day of February too, right? Because there's no 29th and no, no ne never, 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 never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Not my loving. Where's the um? Where's the second part of the update? Um. Honor and pride. Something, something. Um, Coin shop is until Feb 12th, November 29th. Where's the December 13th? Is that going to be the first bump? Uh, that goes all the way until February 7th, February 8th. Dude, all these things are going the whole way. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. So December 13th is going to be... So that's part two. Uh, here. Ignition part two. Two. Ah, oh, bro, come on. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Uh, bam. Boom. Bam. Thicker. Got him. And now I just need a sweater. Why is it getting so cold in my house? Heat. The heat is not on. The heat's not on. Uh, uh, uh. The heat is off. Double layered merch. The one thing I got. <laughs> Get into the merch shop, guys. Pre order it. Order it. If it's not there, harass some Nexon employee. I don't endorse harassment of employees, though. But, <laughs> yeah, do what you gotta do to get your merch. Get that stuff. Sold out. Oh. Complain harder. Dan's game. Okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid F3. You know he's got the Tobin hair though. Hundred percent Tobin hair. You can see the you can see the shaved hair. You can see the fade over here. As you can see the Tobin hair fade, plus the one lock of hair that does come down. Like, even though they don't really show the hair, you know he's got that Tobin. Character, am I burning? <laughs> Dude, I keep changing it up. I don't know. Buccaneer, maybe. Maybe another character. I'm not sure. You sure this fire? Dude, the sleeve is not done well. The seam on the sleeve is too thick. It's, like, too pointy on the inside. I don't know what they fucked up on this. Look, the, the sleeve. You can see that? Like it goes in. How do I show this? You see, you see the stitching? It goes in pretty, pretty big. See on the corner, it's like a 
It's like an indent. See that? Like it's a flat. But it's okay, I guess. It's gonna be my next one. This is from Champion, dude. It's Champion. It's supposed to be like a big ass brand. Or like decent. Decent good shit. I mean, if you have something long sleeve underneath it, you don't feel it at all. But it's a little, little scuff. I could have done it a size smaller, I guess. But it was actually for someone else. Ha, <laughs> but now I ended up getting it. So now I have to end up paying for it too. Based. Is drop gear more necessary now? Yes. But I mean, you still get it around the same time though, but it's gonna be more necessary. Yeah, you can't just like skip through as easily without having it, definitely, yeah. Are people have 10k Legion reboot? Only one person does, and that's because she is just insane at the game and really just very, very dedicated. Has the game ever gone up early from maintenance? Yes. Is it usually crash uh, all the time when it does? Also, yes. Okay, burning was until what? Feb 7th? Boom. Block it, in. lock it in. Drop it, lock it. Twist it, burn it. Boo! Hyper burning, boom. Time slot, donezo. Uh, do you have to go over what hyper burning is? Oh god, all right. Existing characters between level 200 and 248. Dude, you can't even do it on 249? Cringe. Or zero, or a new character. Or characters created during the event period. There we go. Be careful as clicking the cancel or no buttons will create a regular character. Yes, heads up, maplers. A recent recreation event. Oh, this is in a different color than this is, right? Dude, this is fucking with my eyes. Are my eyes bad or is this actually like in black and this is like in dark gray? Oh, I hate how you can't zoom in Chrome because it'll just move to a different different place in the... <laughs> Our Beast Hammer creation event is coming up on version 238 update. Oh, I knew it! Uh, That's Ignition Part 2. It's different? Okay, it's just not not just my brain. It's bold or something. I think this is black and this is... It's like f fuzzy, right? All of the other letters are like fuzzy, but this heads up maplers isn't... <laughs> if your eyes aren't great, it's like it's fucking with your eyes. Okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so if you want to burn a beast tamer, uh, then you can do that. It doesn't mention zero here. Why not? Oh, because it's right here. Okay, cool. Thank you. Making me look like an ass again. A flame effect will appear behind a character. You cannot cancel after setting the character as a hyperburn character. I'm going to set a hyperburn character. It has to be deleted first to set another character as a hyperburn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to delete it. So don't do a 200 plus and then change your mind, okay? Because then you rip 200 plus character. You need level 200 to burn. Existing level 200 to 48 characters or characters created during the event period. There we go. That's the last time I'm going to reread that. Okay, hyper burning rewards. Boo, we already knew all that. Level 30 chest with equips. Boom, snail pet. Got it. Level 100. Wow, look at that burning gear. Oh my god. And it's still called frozen, but it's also burning because it's like black and red, but also frozen somehow. Nice, nice, nice. Same stuff as always. Level 150 reward. Yes, you get it if your character is already higher level. Blah, 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 blah. All of the stuff, Fafnir weapon box, time restricted. Uh, the weapon is going to be different this time. It's going to be 15 stars, 3 line epic potentials, and it's going to be 6% weapon or magic attack depending on what the weapon needs, 4% critical rate, and 3% damage. That's going to be like stuck on potential on there that you can't change, okay? So it's easier from the from the get-go, but you're not going to be able to re-meme re up with that. So you basically just want to level up really quickly, I get to Abzo or get the Fakezo on there. So you don't get stuck with this guy too long. But as soon as you open it up, it's going to be useful though. Okay, Bucks will expire on February 7th, 1159. Puma. Then bonus rewards, you get the big old title with extra uh, EXP. Here we go, 10% bonus EXP. At level 200. And then there's some more stuff after 200. There's the level 5 symbol and 50 nodes. At 210, level 5 symbol and eternal flame ring. Level 215, 50 nodes. Level 220, level 5 symbol and the Absolab Dominator box. Fuck the Dominator box. Always get the Absolab here, right? So level 220. So far, so good. We've already known these types of rewards. 
for this type of rewards. And now 225, you get the symbol 50 nodes, 230 level five symbol, 50 nodes. Hyper burning set outfit, which is gonna have some temporary bonus stats, but you know, it's mostly for looks here. It's a little bit of weapon and magic attack, but that's about it. Level 235, guess what? Oh, a level five symbol and an experience node. Rip, instead of 50 nodes, you now get the superior reward, which is a one EXP node. And then you get the other title once you get to 250. Uh, 242 EXP nodes, wow, still useless. And regular node stones were more useful. Pain maintenance extended, wow, unexpected on that one. Um, 245, more experience nodes, and then 250, you get the bigger title. So now you just got all the way up to 250, you think you're done? Oh no. Now you get a title with plus 20% bonus EXP, so you better keep going. <laughs> um, it's a really nice title for 30 days, 30 all stat, 30 weapon magic attack, 20 boss, 20 IED, a little bit HP MP, 20 bonus EXP, and 50 arcane power. So if you're planning on going all the way to 275 with your character, it's definitely going to be viable to do it with this. Uh, really, really strong title, of course. Is it transferable? No, it's untradeable. It should be also untransferable, yeah. So just stuck specifically to a character, because it's an event like this, you get it specifically because that character has done all that work, so that character gets that bonus, basically. You don't understand the experience node stones with the removal of totems, it's already getting harder to put node stones. Yeah, the um, experienced node stones are highly, highly overvalued in this game. They're not nearly as good as the exchange rate for other stuff in the game leads it on to be it's not that good okay uh and then we have burning world of course burning world is only useful for a non-reboot uh very very limited amount of use for reboot sometimes people can use it to make some money on another world transfer that you know money in the auction in the mesel market for maple points so you can use them on uh on reboot but that's a very you know niche usage but basically you just get to make some burning characters all of your characters on there will get uh, we'll be able to train faster with huge buffs, basically as if you have an 8k legion without actually needing an 8k legion. Uh, and then at the end of the burning world, six of your characters can be moved into a non-reboot uh, non world. Basically so that you can kind of train in the hyperbolic time chamber and work on getting some strong ass mules for your legion. And then you can move them all over once the... Um, Once the event is over. Uh, I'll just need to check out on the time. 16th until November 8th. And then November 8th is the world leap, I believe. Until the 23rd. Okay. Um, so like this. Boom, boom. Kaboom! I'll just do world uh, burning. Yes, I'm definitely not. Hello, can I type? Thank you. Burning world plus. Leap. Uh, and then Leap is... Wait, until 28th? What was it? Until 23rd. That's weird. World Leap. Until... 23rd... 23.59... This, boom, bam, insert link, bam, world, bam. Da, 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 da. Leap, top, back down, boom, da 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 da. Insert link, da 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 da. Do, 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 do. 
This one's 16. I guess we'll just all put them all to 16. Okay, next to Fireworks Festival. 16th until the 7th. That's probably going to be most of the stuff, so we'll see how many things we need to block in together here. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Mission Highlight, that's the same thing. Flame Group, gen gen that's a shorter one until December. Okay, so that's 2 and 2. That's another one completely. Uh, December 13th, same as this one, right? So 2 and 3. And then the shops... Usually I do the shops first here. Uh, so two, and then two and three, that makes sense. I'll need at least one more column though. So we'll do two, and then like three like that. And this, is, this will be three as well. We'll see which shop has like the... Okay, Fer Fireworks Festival Parade. That's a big ass name. What's going in here? Fireworks Festival Parade. Whoa! Da -da. Top. Boom, 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 boom. Let's link them. So that's, that's the one with all the leveling up stuff, right? Oh my god, with all the coins. God, it's so much stuff. Okay, hang on. Events from past events that are still active? Well, yeah, the event calendar has all of the previous stuff in it with all the links still in it. It, I just hide them so they don't clutter the existing file. But if you were to, you know, like save a copy and then uncollapse the columns, for example, you can still see all of it. Did you give a time frame for the maintenance? I just got home. Uh, I think they said at least another 40 minutes. So like an hour from now, something like that. Uh, okay, uh, Firex Festival Parade. So what do we have here? Uh, the progress recognition uh, shared across all your characters. Complete daily missions to get a daily maximum of ignition coins. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> and click on the flame stamp button to get a stamp. Okay, so yeah, always. There is already an extra hoop to jump through, right? Just because you cap, you don't get the stamp. You have to manually, manually do that. Characters that have collected all of the coins can receive the stamp once a day per account. Obviously, you can receive skill points to increase blaze skill stats and other special rewards by collecting the stamps. You can obtain a blaze skill points uh, on every first and fourth day each week. You can claim your flame stamp reward on every seventh stamp. Okay. Isn't there like a visual for that? Oh god, this song is so good, dude. from the burning Google Play Store oh Nexon Play wait is this Nexon Play they, they ripped this from Google Play Super Mario. okay uh, burning worlds hyperburn step up World Leap, Sickness Night Remaster Event, Honor and Pride. Oh, we haven't gotten to this one yet. Let's pretend you haven't seen this one yet, okay? Ignition Fireworks Festival. Wait, so what are we calling it? 
The fireworks festival parade. Okay, close enough. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you cap on the day. Okay, you can see it highlighted like this. So that's what that's gonna look like, you know. With like the unlock second path, double up on your rewards type of thing. That's where the event rings are gonna be. Let's see. I believe that's the only event rings you were gonna see in the whole event. So if your character really needs some rings, you gotta get on that. There's a big level up potion, big level up potion, nude, selector coupon, nerf selector coupon, rip, and then and then the smaller potion selector coupon, that stuff. Your thoughts on the Clover event? Well, I haven't gotten that far yet, so no. So, hopefully that visual, this visual gives you a little bit more than this wall of text does. Uh, if you exit the, bo uh, there's bosses. You can still receive flare coins. Is that part of the other one? Hang on, let me scroll down a little bit more. Mr. Ignition has prepared daily missions, weekly missions, and monthly missions. You can acquire up to 300 ignition coins per day per character, and then you can see the whole list. Blah, 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 blah. Weekly, we'll get flare coins. Those can be completed per world and can be claimed through the UI. You can acquire up to 400 flare coins per week per world. Blah, 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 blah. Very similar to Destiny, right? Just a different way of picking them up and getting them all done. Which is the best embossing? We can't know yet because they haven't been playable in GMS yet, so we're gonna have to figure that out once the game goes live. Will it be on time if up in 40 minutes? Well, no, it should have been up in seven minutes. They already extended it by an extra 40 minutes past the normal uptime. So 47 minutes from now is what their expected uptime is going to be. Um, which means if they have extended it for less than an hour, that must mean they're really close and there is actually a small chance it gets up before those 40 minutes though. And then monthly missions will reward ignition coins. These can be completed per world. Wait, so are the other ones, right? This is also per world. So they're just all per world. Um, ignition coins are not included in your daily limit. Of course not. Because, th which means that it is not a daily limit. Aha, we found it. Because there is a way to get more. So that's not your limit. Got them. Monthly missions will reset every four weeks at 12 a.m. on July 28th and August 25th. Oof, we're going to have to mark that somehow. July 28th and August 20th. Well, that's not going to work <laughs> because we are not in the same months during this event. So we're going to have to read here when it is. Uh, December 14th and January 11th. So I'm highlighting this here. I'll add a little bit of text here, I guess. On deck 14 and gen 11, the monthly ignition rewards reset. You can merge frozen and non-frozen columns. Break my balls, Kyle. Can I make that like one? That's not gonna fit anymore. If I make it bigger, it won't fit. Okay. Do we have to uninstall and reinstall like we did for Destiny? Uh, I did not see the mention that anywhere, no. Did they buff mob spawn rates? I don't think so. I haven't read that. I don't know why they would do that. What part of multiple class rework is a simple patch? <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely isn't. Plus, even though they didn't officially say that they reduxed the other ones, they also did a lot of changes to a lot of other classes. Oh, because of 64-bit. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. You only had 20 years to create an automated update system for a children's mission game. Too much to ask for. Way too much, yeah. Now, did they have the updated the maps or is that in part two? Th this That is going to be in part one, yeah. 
Remember, Korea usually has three or sometimes even four patches. GMS does two at most, so they merge a lot of things together into fewer. You think Reddit found my stream? Oh, did it? I mean, they know I exist, so... <laughs> Um, okay. Deal emissions, so that's the whole... Yeah, we already talked about that. Weekly emissions, we already talked about that. Week one will go for, goes until November 23rd. Oh, week one starts after the patch and goes until November 23rd. Yeah, usually the first week, quote-unquote, is like eight days because they don't want people to that can't play or if the maintenance goes late that you miss out on that first week completely. So usually they just, yeah, give that, make the first day after the update count for the first week. But after that, it's always Wednesday start, Tuesday end, okay? The maintenance extended rears are here from Reddit. I mean, that's to be expected, you know? You wanna make sure that you get the live update if the more people are in one place, the more someone can actually find and pinpoint the exact time when the game goes up, so you miss the minimal amount of, of game uptime. That makes sense. Whoa, ads. Damn. Channel help 94 welcome to the internet. Uh, <laughs> in case you haven't been here in like the last 25 years, advertisement is basically why this whole thing is uh, working. There's this uh, YouTube called, uh, this YouTube website called YouTube, or this website called literally any website ever with uh, side banners. <laughs> um, flame stamps. Yeah, that's for claiming when you capped for the day. Flame stamp rewards. All right, we can see those here, I think. Yep. All right, seven stamps is selective growth potion voucher, 14 selective symbol voucher. The symbol voucher was nerfed, man. It's a 1 to 5. Man, it was 1 to 4. It was 100 or 25, and now it's 200 or 40, or 100 or 20 in the later ones. They nerfed them again. Fuck. More ads, please. No, nah, that's set automatically. I get like a monthly offer for a certain amount of ads for a certain amount of hours from Twitch, and then I just set that automatically, and then boom, it just goes. When the maintenance will end. Yeah, yeah. When it will end, it will. Let's just, uh, we'll he we're here for it. Just waiting. Next question, I have a little 200 Scania and a hyper burn. Can I hyper burn in Barra, lol? Yeah, you can, well, you can do only one hyper burn per account, right? But you can burn wherever you want. But it'll have to be a new character or an existing character past level 200, up to 248. So if you have no characters yet in Barra, you just start a new character and burn it at level 10, basically. I was planning to pop all my totems straight after maintenance. All of them? Like 15 of them? You can farm me for more ads until maintenance is done. Will do. Will do. Ruse is kind of prime. Thank you, Root. No more ads, Pog. Yeah, remember if you're subscribed or you have what? Amazon Turbo, all ads will be gone. Unless something fucks up. Am I burning? Um, I'm leaning heavily towards Buccaneer, but I'm giving myself some more time because I've got to get through all of my totems first on my DA before I do any grinding on another character. So I'm not sure yet which one I'll do, honestly. Not 100%. From two, I can legit watch 30 ads because I'm doing something on the side. Yeah, no, it's just, it's automatic. So I've already, I in the beginning of the month or like, uh, actually this month I should get an offer for next month's ads because it's the 16th. Let me check how many ads you're gonna get next week, uh, next month, guys. Let's see, um, settings partner. Let's see if we can have a sneak peek for next month. <gasps> oh, there it is. Few offer. How many How many ads do you guys want next month? Some of the ad offers have been insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can't really talk about the details and everything. Oh, we're down a little bit from, uh, from this month. Okay, you guys are going to be saved a little bit on the ads. Six minutes per hour pog. Uh, this month I'm doing nine. <laughs> Looks like next month is going to be seven, seven an hour. So it's going to be less than this month. Picking mainstream class. Honestly, the further we go, the more every single class is going to be a mainstream class because they're all just going to be very similar. Um, 
Spacing 21. 7.1 minutes an hour. Why are you over? Do two minutes every seventeen minutes. Okay, I guess that's the best. Yeah, two and a half every twenty one. Okay. Save accept terms. Yeah, no, honestly, since the uh, the extra partner ad uh, stuff happened, I can finally start making like livable fucking wage, dude. <laughs> However, this month I'm not near the amount of numbers that I usually stream because of uh, because of all the Maple Fest stuff. Why is the server not online? Because the game is not ready. I'm burning a DK just for the six percent HP Legion for my DA Giga Chat. <laughs> That's that is the worst possible thing. <laughs> the HP skills so bad in uh, end game for uh, for DA. You you'd probably be better off doing any of the the, the critical damage skills. They'll give you way more damage than a percentage of HP will. I would uh, you know get like a shade or a jet or a Hayato in there. Actually, tragic listening to Copper Sun's Maple Fest experience. Yeah, it was so bad. Ugh. Yeah, I think like my overall income was probably my overall income was almost doubled. I think from everything combined, pretty much doubled. Yeah, from the well, it gets taxed. It comes out of the. Eh, it's hard to say, but it's a huge bow. Uh, I'm hyper burning and Mihail because Giga Chat. Oh yeah, Mihail is Giga Chat for sure. Okay, what were we talking about? Oh, three experience gemstones. So experience nodes, uh, maximum growth potion vouchers to level up to two fifty, and then. Selective three ring event voucher, the petal skin, 100% unique potential scroll, and then another maximum growth potion voucher. And then you can double that up if you pay the amount. And how much is it for us? Are we paying the same amount as a... Uh, oh, wait, they have, we have something else? Pause champ? Oh, they only give us one potion, didn't they? Motherfuckers. They did that on the last time as well when there was another event and they, it w we got like eight, six weeks instead of eight and they took away the, the big potion as well. Oh, we get the one to four though. Yes. Oh, because it's a small one. But we do get the one to four. Haha. -ha. We don't get the nerf KMS version yet. Wait, actually, no, we do get the nerf. We only get the half. Fuck. Instead of the 240, we get the 125. Cringe. Oh, unfortunate. And then the three nodes, the one out of three ring. We can do some growth potion. Symbol, oh, and then another symbol selector at 49, wait, hang on. Wait, huh, how is it, how is this different? 21 is the, is the nodes, then the max growth, yeah, then the, oh, then we get the damage skin at 42, okay, oh yeah, no, wait, that's the same, at 49, we get, we get another symbol voucher, Oh, because they just, they just split it up. But they split it up into two of the old ones. Aha, so we're getting 10 more authentic symbols than, than KMS did. Because they get we get two 100 to 25s instead of one 200 to 40. And then at 56, we get the, the Karma Unique. Oh, and then they added one. Uh-huh. Okay, so compared to Korea, we're getting 10 more 
uh, sacred symbols. We have an extra week. But we get one fewer maximum growth potion. We only get one of those. But at the end, at the 63rd, we get a damage skin selection box. But I don't know. It doesn't look like any of them are unit, though. Ugh. And then we have to wait all the way until the 70th until we get the potion. Why is our event so much longer? Damn. So it's an extra two weeks. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How interesting. Okay. See, this was a good idea to look at KMS to kind of get an idea of what we're getting, but then really double check with the <laughs> official patch notes once they're out to make sure what you're actually getting. Okay. And then ignition blaze skill is basically level up your skill. Smorgasbord of skill leveling going on. Um, that's probably the same numbers here, so it'll be easier to check it here. Level 1, 4, 6, 15, 30, 50. I'm, gu oh, I'm guessing that's the same. 4, 6, 15, 30, 50. Yeah. And if you max the skills, it'll be up to 35 boss or regular monster damage or IED. Uh, crit rate and buff duration goes up to 25. EXP up to 12 and a half. All stat arcane power up to 50. Weapon magic tech up to 25. And HP MP up to 2,500. Okay. Oh, Joe Bro used the poll. If any mods in the chat can help him out with the poll, that'd be much appreciated. Okay, and then Flame Pass. What is that? Click the Flame Pass button in the season to spend 3,000 maple points to get a Flame Stamp you couldn't complete. Oh, yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. You can spend extra. Oh, wow, you scrolled up a lot, didn't you? Didn't ya? Don't ya, baby, don't ya? Can I click these still to remove them? Yes, thank you. This one as well? No, not that one. Did you get a crowd flame stamps for claiming the reward to get a reward one more time? He's making it purchased once per account. Oh, so this one is 40,000 maple points for us to double up. I mean, I guess I'll do that. I've got reward points for this. Mod check, are we mod checking? Hello, mod? Oh, it is up. True. Will the maintenance be done before the reset? Let's see what the chat thinks. Yes or no. Reset is in two hours. A little bit under two hours. The expected uptime now is in 30 minutes. What do you guys think, chat? Yes or no? Let's see some audience participation. We've got 600 people here. We have to get at least 100 of you to answer the poll. Come on. At least one in six of you, right? Ideally, about 200 of you. You have your opinion. Oh, most of you guys think no. Any yeses? Any believers in the chat? Any copium? Any copium huffers? <laughs> any any copers in the chat? This is optimism versus realism right now. In real time. Let's see if optimism wins or if realism <laughs> wins. Yes, bracket, no, for sure. Copium, yeah. Okay, I see some I see some copers. Almost 30%. Almost 30% coping. Okay, 30, 70. Okay. Oh, no, slightly resetting the balance again. Azaru with the 23. Thank you very much for priming. One month away from your two year badge. That will get you your first potential badge in the chat. What is that? CSGO Week Brazil 2022. Ooh. Okay, still 30, 70. What is that? 119 votes. Can we get can we get more than 119 votes? Will the maintenance be done before reset? Yes or no? 30-70 split. I feel like that's pretty fair, 30-70 split. Because there's a decent chance it'll be up before because they extended it by just a little bit of time. But then again, it is Nexon, so it feels fair. Okay, 31-69. That's a better split, actually. Yeah, get the 69%. <laughs> you want to believe? Yeah, you want to be optimistic, but the realism is like setting in. I get that. I get that. Lost 250k channel points when I bet Maple would finish maintenance on time, lol. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's why I never do those bets, because I want the channel points to kind of mean something, but if you do those bets, you can just lose all of it. Allow us to gamba our points on a question, gamba, gamba, gamba. 68% says no. Okay, 32% yes. Not too bad. 133 votes. All right, we got some viewer interaction.
The one time I did it? Oh, yeah. It must have been a long time ago then. Wait, how'd you have 250k by then? Copium supplies at an all-time high. Copium stonks up. Okay. Uh, so that's ignition pass. Yeah, so 40k and then 3k per day that you missed. Then ignition highlight. Why is that G acting so weird with the line here? Okay. November 16th until the 7th. Ignition highlight. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom. Boom. Ignition highlight. Boom. Bam. And link. Bam. Okay, apply. Okay, boom. Oh, wait. I could have added them here. Oh, oh brother. Mm, brother. You are so dumb for real, bro. My, my dude. No. Link, 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 clean. Uh, you have DMT? Not quite DMT yet, just a little bit longer. I want to start playing Maple. Your thoughts on Adele or Dawn Warrior? At this point, all the classes are good. Like, the play style for classes can be quite different. Dawn Warrior, we haven't played it yet with how it's going to be, so that's going to be interesting. We don't, uh, you know, we, we can see the numbers, we can see the data, we can see gameplay from Korea, but it might be a little bit different once you really get your hands on it. All of them are just good. Um, so there's, there's no real bad pick that you can make, honestly. All of them are a good option. Um, Adele... Seems like it probably has quite a bit more mobility options than Dawn Warrior. So in that regard, it's probably, you know, heavier on the mobility. You guys saying it's patching? Yeah, finally. Patch champ? It is not patching for me. Rip. Might be patching through Steam or something. Is anyone else seeing anything, anything loading? Otherwise, we've got another bonking going on. Anything through Steam? Nope. All right. <whistles> Goodbye. Get bonked. Boom, boom, boom. Is it appropriate time for a Ducker Z? Okay. Next. Um, the condition the highlights. What is that? Uh, it begins every hour at the 30 minute mark. Oh no, flag race flashbacks immediately. Are you going to participate in the DJ Selena performing perform, uh, special performance? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, that's when you get the EXP or the extra bonus stat. Okay. So it probably lasts from 30 minutes to 39th minute, right? So you can refresh it after ten, 9 to 10 minutes if you want to. Um, so that's this one, right? Where you get the the buff on the on the top right. DJ Selena Showtime Fireworks Dance Skill. All right, this one is slightly different. Wait. Wait, this is not this one. This is the um, Ignition Star Bridge. No, it's not that either. Spot differences, no. Sky Sovereign, wait, the order. <gasps> the order is different. Ignition highlight time, oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, here are the buffs. Here you can see the the two buffs. So that's what they're gonna look like, the fireworks ones, basically. There you go. Okay, and then the next thing is flame group dance. That's only going to be available so this is going to be your skill to kill monsters near your level, basically, from November 16th until December 13th. What is it called? Flame Group. Flame gr Group Dance. 
uh, until, what did I say? December 19th? Am I blind? 13th. I'm blind. Cool. Got it. Bam. It should have been a full month, so that should have been an indicator of what it was going to be. Boom. A little bit darker here. Uh, I believe this is the only thing that lasts this duration. So I'll put, it, I'll put it in brackets. Uh, kill monsters near your level. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. So I'll leave this one like this for now, but there's most likely going to be another skill that starts right when this one ends on Ignition Part 2, right? To just take over when the last one finishes. The Winners need ID. They do have a an ID skill built in, um, but I imagine, imagine they can imagine they can still benefit from it quite a bit. When you say need ID, you mean like in um, in your WSE or something? Like almost all the classes needed in the beginning. Fuck, how do I change that to make it some, like the same? Oh, do I this? There we go. Group dance is kill monsters near level. Uh, let's scroll back up here. So it'll be the icon of oh, what's this guy's name? What's this guy's name again? It's not Fangblade. <laughs> Mike, Flame and Mike. There we go. Oh my god, he'll be in your map just slamming things across the upside the face, you know, just destroying them. Okay. Uh, okay, monster your level gets activated. Each time you defeat 100 monsters within your level range, fever gauge will fill up by one bar. When you defeat 300 monsters, either a normal fever skill or the lucky fever skill will be activated. So this seems like the normal one, and this seems like the lucky one. I'm going to have to get, guess. Uh, Flaming Mike appears attacking nearby monsters five times before disappearing. You will acquire experience. Flaming Mike appears attacking nearby five times with a larger area before disappearing. You will acquire more experience. Wow. So just some RNG extra stuff. Uh, monsters defeated will not count for three monsters required to activate. Um, 2k monsters to cap. Uh, no, it does not show at all that you are going to get and you do not get any coins from this. You get EXP from this. This is just to kill monsters near your level when you're training, you get bonus EXP, basically, is what this is. The coins come from completing the challenges. Um, in the in the tabs here. And then when you have those challenges completed and you click them, then you get your coins in there. So they're not gotten directly from anything. You have to check with the entire list of the dailies that you can do on which ones you've already completed and then finishing them up. So this one is just kill monsters in your level and just EXP. Ooh, close one there, mini zirkling. Close one. Sky Sovereign. This one does let you get points, I believe, though. Uh, oh no, special points. Ooh. So this will part. This will be part of the quests, I'm guessing. And then gives you some extra chairs and NX stuff. Okay. If you're into that, ignition judge share coupon. <laughs> Tradable within account, permanent. Yeah, it should be a daily for this as well to get points. This is 16th until December 13th as well, which is exactly why I left space here and didn't fill up the whole thing, right? <laughs> Monkas, Sky, Sovereign. <laughs> Flame Group Dance does not have a link, whoops.
Oh, it starts on the 30th until December 13th. Can I throw that in here? On November 30th. To this, to this, what? It's only two weeks? Cringe, okay. Uh, hang on, we can squeeze that one together. Okay. Why when I squeeze it and then unsqueeze it suddenly, <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't mean it. But when I merge it and then unmerge it, why does it then lose the fact that it had a line on the bottom? That's so weird. I see updates haven't changed in the past 10 years. I mean, they've been okay-ish recently where they usually end up like right where, around where they're supposed to end and also are functional and there's not like huge game breaking bugs right after, but it's you know it's hit or miss, <laughs> but it's been it's been okay. We have some league stuff. Forgiving. Yeah, you coming back to Maple? You gonna you gonna give it a try? Wait, am I not supposed to see like some extra stats here? Is that your cat or is that a baby? <laughs> Frame for KMS Monster Park Extreme EXP bug. I hope not, man. <laughs> Imagine opening that box and just losing a level. Oof. True, the Dominator Pendant has third line crit rate from rewards. Yes. Two lines, like prime line main stat, um, one one tier lower main stat, and then a critical, 9% critical rate line. But you don't want to get it. You want to get the Absolute weapon instead. Way more utility, way more value. It's also a transferable box, so you could you can get it on a different character as well. You don't have to give it to the same character necessarily. Okay, so that's all that. And then Ignition Star Bridge, is that what we're at? Oh, spot the difference first. Oh no, Star Bridge, here it is. Yeah, Star Bridge. Um... That is the 16th until the 29th, okay. Wait, it's only two weeks, right? Bro. You're making me make, make one of these just for two weeks of you. For you. Ignition Star Bridge. Well, you guys already know Star Bridge, I'm getting... Are you serious right now? Let's go. Ooh! It's okay. Good. Good. I wanted that to be the case. Be all brown and brown downtown. But well, basically, you're just flying around. You're trying to connect dots together to try to replicate a uh, star sign that's in here. And it's easy to start near the corners, I guess. And you just fly around. You can use the Alt key to jump fly so you go a little bit faster. And once you connect all of the ones, all of the stages, you will get a fuck ton of EXP. It's usually very good for low level characters, really low level characters, like, um, but usually have to be 200 plus. Yeah, 200 plus. So if you have a bunch of characters that are t around 200, you want to eventually get them to level 210 for level three link, or you want to push them beyond. Starbridge is, um, it's really good for that. Uh, wait, is it 100 plus now? Oh, wait, why is it different from Korea? Wait, oh, interesting. I wonder if this is a typo. Oh, this could be a typo. Hmm. That mean less EXP? I mean, usually it scales even better the lower you go. I'll send it to, uh, to Vera and just, uh, ask. OK, 
Okay, so we'll double check. I call Insta 101 to 150 in one run. Yeah, it, it. I think this is supposed to be 200. I think just like the the spotted difference as well. I think, but I'll I'll send it to uh, to our CM and uh, he'll uh, he'll double check. Uh, yeah, but Starbridge is yeah. You just connect with the Harvest Interact key. You just connect the dots, and then you get a bunch of EXP. Uh, let's see, once you've completed the third stage of the game and it properly, you'll receive EXP. The EXP reward can be received two times a day per world. You will receive the same amount of EXP that you can get at level 260 if you're level 260 and above. Okay, so it seems like they're making at least scale, or trying to make it scale very far. Uh, I guess past 260 they don't want it to scale anymore. But you could definitely try it on a high level character and see how much you get and see if that's worth it. Because people were mentioning that if you, you know, do any kind of things that you can get EXP from, including Monster Park, including uh, Symbol Dailies, all of that stuff, and including this one, you can get your character from level 10 all the way to level 250 um, without Agavert really needing to grind on a character. So you can do the whole Hyper Burn with just that EXP. But this one was most likely included in that to, to participate. So try to get to 200 ASAP so you can work on this, right? But yeah, the 10 to 200 should be really, really fast with burning this time around. Uh, if you exit in the middle of the game, you'll be given a penalty. Oh, no. And you'll get a warning if there is no action taken for about 60 seconds. You'll be forced to go after Okay, so you can't just AFK and get carried either. Maintenance. Maintenance. There you go. You accidentally an N. And then spot the difference is from November 30th to December 13th. Uh, what I might do is... Is just squeeze it in after here. I think I'll do that. Um, I'll do this. Oh no, this is going to disappear anyway. I think I'll squeeze it in here. Squeeze, switch to that, and do spot the difference. Boom, and then insert link, bam, spot, boom, control C, bam, V, recolor, bam, and then here have like um, EXP mini game, something like that. Because the other one gives EXP only as well, right? Yeah. I think that makes more sense and I don't have to make as many columns. Because this brown with the blue is a little fucking weird though. That's a, that's a, that's a weird match. I can make this one lighter again. This one a little bit darker. This one a little bit darker. This one a little bit lighter. And this one a little bit darker. I'm gonna make this one one, one up, this one one down. There we go. Boom, boom. Spot 12. Uh, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay. Um. Mini game it is. Okay. Such so a spot the difference. So if you want to get really good at spot the difference, what you want to do is you want to cross your eyes, look for the overlap in two pictures. Uh, once you do that, certain parts of the um, of the of the picture will get blurry because it'll look like almost three D because it's two different overlapping images. And all the rest that is the same will just look solid. So you just click all the blurs and boom, 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 you'll be, you'll be done. Uh, we could do a little... We could do a little bit of a demonstration on that in a little bit. Um, which one did I use? There was one that was really good to kind of show that. Is this the one that I clicked last time? Yeah, 
Oh, this has sound. Cool. Let me mute that website immediately. Mm-hmm. Debate, brother, worth the 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, do you know when version 238 will be come? Yes, 238 is going to be here. That's part two for ignition, so that's December 14th. And 239 should be the new patch here on February 8th. Uh, okay, uh, you must find three differences in stage one, two, and three, and five differences in stage four and five. If you click on the picture, a circle will be displayed. Blah, blah, blah. If you click anywhere that isn't correct, you will not be able to click for a short time, so you can just spam, 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 click everywhere. And that should give you a big old block of EXP, just like the other one. Oh, you can see a little bit here how it works, I guess. Well, hopefully we don't get a CAPTCHA like this. That would be, uh... Oh man, I hope they double-checked if we don't get the fucking Korean CAPTCHAs. <laughs> That'll be tricky to get into the game. <laughs> Do this uh, Korean CAPTCHA real quick. With your... With your NE keyboard. Uh, Kabata, thank you for the resub, my dude. Appreciate that. Oh, Steel G. Wait, did I miss this resub? Steel G, thank you for the resub as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, image A4, C Rod 1, and 60 Hertz Clutch. Thank you for the follows. And Mentality and Hashida RPG as well. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to all the new, uh, all the new people. If you guys don't know my stream yet, I stream full time. I try to stream every single day. I'm mostly focused on helping out people who have questions. I try to explore new content. I try to explore existing content. I have about 200 commands of information that you can use. If you see anything that you think is wrong, you can always ask about it and we'll talk about it. If you ended up being wrong, then I learn another question that people might have and I might have to change the command a little bit. And if I end up being wrong, then I definitely find something that I need to update. So. There's so much information there that a lot of the stuff is uh, difficult to keep up with. So if you guys are checking things out, I hope that not too much stuff is outdated, but inevitably some things will be. And um, hopefully we can catch it in time. Seven Pigs, thank you for the Prime. Welcome to Scott Charles, congrats on extra chromosome, you badge, real fame with them. Thank you for supporting the channel. Appreciate you, thank you. So it said growth potions can't be used uh, for what? For you? What's your YouTube guides? Much appreciated. Oh yeah, try to... Um, yeah, so that's another thing I do is the coaching sessions that I do with people. Uh, you can check exclamation mark coaching. You can find all the info there on how that all goes. But basically, people who get through there uh, get those coaching sessions that I put online. Is it worth skipping Abzos? Uh, no. If you have a really, really big legion, like I do, and you really hate the weeklies for Abzo, like I do, you can definitely skip them. It's not necessary. But in terms of effort, value, and um, just strength on Abzos, it's pretty, they're, they're like undeniably OP. Um, they're really good. I hope they were not looking at a 12 plus hour patch. I hope so as well, because I, I haven't done any dailies yet today. And in an hour and a half, it will be reset. So I will we'll have missed an extra day of dailies. <laughs> Do. Dude, the free coaching session has been picked uh, for October. Oh, that's a good question, actually. I don't think I have done that yet. No, I have not done that yet. Okay, uh, but let's get through. So this is how you spot the differences. I don't know why we're watching a video on spot the difference. You click the differences on the screen. That should not really have been like that. Okay, then we have the shops. Okay, the big ones. The big mamas. Uh, these are all same dates, November 16th to February 12th. And usually I smack those in the way in the beginning here so that everyone can immediately see them. There was a problem that crosses a merged cell. God damn it. Because these guys are merged here again. Okay, unmerge. Okay, unmerge. Okay, unmerge. Boom. Move you. Bam. Coin shops. What are they called? Ignition coin shop. Oh god. Uh, ignition mezzo shop. And flare coin shop. Okay. Ignition coin shop. Ignition mezzo shop. And ignition flare shop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bam, bam. Insert link. Ignition star bridge. That is not the link. A 
I'll just do all three now just to have them all here. Player coin shop, boom, F coin. F coin? Meso. Miso. Miso. Oh, Miso. We love you long time. Well, how much long? How long was that again? 16th to Feb 12th. Oh, yeah. One further. It's always one further, right? Boom, 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 boom. This one. Boom, boom. Grayed out. Bam. Shops close on Feb 12th. Turn three, fifty-nine. Yep, all the way bottom. Rush. Boom. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this one a little bit taller. Oh, no, wait, a little bit. Was Drax for cutie IRL? Yes, actually. All the people who showed up were cuties IRL. About 40 to 50 bill at the lower end and 60 to 70 bill at farm. If I farm a lot. Oh, we only have one ditcher now. Okay, wait. I could do a poll in the chat. Okay. Okay, we're gonna type. No, this is too long to put into a poll. Okay. I need you guys to type one or two in the chat, okay? So if you're meeting up with people, do you usually just, if you haven't heard anything in a while, do you just go at the time that you were supposed to be there that was last mentioned? Type one. If you wait for an extra confirmation and if you don't get an extra confirmation that you hear, do you just not do anything? Type a two. Like, do you just... A four. What is four? Do you like walk back? Do you like moonwalk in, in there? Because I personally, I, don't, I will only send a message if plans change. If nothing changes, I don't send a message. But I've noticed that people are pretty different in that, in that if you send like five people an invite, four people will just show up, but one person didn't show up because they asked for a follow-up and you didn't see that question because you didn't check to send follow-ups because nothing changed. Three, because always there's five to 10 minutes prior. 1.5, ask for confirmation before going. So that would be two then, yeah. Confirmation because these people who schedule meetups be forgotten. Depends on if you know if the person is reliable. Okay, I get that, yeah. If it's maybe the first time meeting up, you wanna get like an extra confirm. Also, I think if it's a lot of travel, you'd also want one. If it's like a five minute travel, you'll just go because then if it's if it doesn't go through or something comes up, you can just go back home. But if it's like an hour of travel, you want to double confirm because then if something comes up and you have to go all the way back, it's your day's fucked, right? I guess there's some extra extenuating uh, circumstances. Please confirm receipt. Yeah. <laughs> Did you RSVP? Please confirm RSVP. Depends on the reliability of the person. Yeah, I get no. I guess that's true. That's true. If it's the very first time and it's far away, it's t it totally makes sense to like ask for confirmation. Yeah, that's very true. I was with Copperson. Is he also annoying IRL? Oh, it's just, it's just insane, dude. I couldn't wait to be on a different like to have completely different seats from him, so I could actually have some distance from that guy. Jesus, so annoying. No, I was talking with the stream earlier because we saw each other so much and we we're like struggling through all of the stuff that was going on so much. It was actually kind of nice in the airplane to have seats that were slightly further apart so we didn't have to sit together the whole time because we also needed our own space a little bit because we, <laughs> we saw it way too much of each other. That, uh, <laughs> but um, no, we got along super well, like all three of us. Uh, we were all like looking for the right, for the things on like where to go and then always someone with some suggestion on what to do and get from A to B. Uh, nobody was annoyed with the other person, I think. 
Um, except when I <laughs> went to the bathroom uh, in Heathrow on the way back, and Kopasan was like, "Please, uh, <laughs> let's let's go let's go because if we need to do passport control and there's a long line, then we're gonna we're gonna miss it." But other than that, I think everyone was uh, on the same page and trying to get just you know trying to get from A to B and get through it. It's just a few days. Yeah, but we were stuck with each other. Like, for 54 hours, we were basically constantly on top of each other, trying to, like, do calls and just sitting there and waiting. And That's a long time to be, like, if you've never really hung out before, <laughs> then to have that much time on top of each other. Best friends? I would say that we could, like, go on vacation together, like, any kind of, like, chill hangout vacation, for sure. I don't think there would be, like, any conflict or any weird uh, situation going on. We got along very well. Lines at the passport control is crap, so I get why he pushes it. Yeah, so the one thing that was really good is that once we got to the UK, we had, like, since we had a European passport and we had all had new passports, we were able to just slide through the passport control. But people who have older passports or uh, passports from outside of EU it took forever to, for them to get through. Spending 52 hours together. I mean, it's a really big stress test, though. 52 hours and with, like, delays and flights and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so not all 52 hours, like during some of the flights, we were a little bit further apart because we wanted to sleep, you know, and make sure that we had, uh, had good seats and had enough space. I have trouble staying sane, going to airports with family. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could totally understand that. We got through it fine, but there was like three times on the way there that we had an idea of like, let's just go back, like, fuck it. And then we called uh, people at Nexon, and they were like trying to help us out on getting on getting there. And we were like, <sighs> the whole time I was thinking, if you know, even if it takes like super long, if I'm just able to meet like one person who really wanted to meet me at the end, I think that would be worth it. But I like, I'm really weird. I don't really like. Okay, I like traveling, but that doesn't mean what you think it means. When people say I like traveling, they don't like traveling. They like being in different places. They don't like traveling like they don't like the process of getting there they like the process the act of being there i actually like traveling i like the process of getting to places which is really weird because <laughs> that you're not supposed to like that part that's supposed to be the annoying part so you can so you can l like the good part i kind of like being on an airplane for 10 hours that's kind of cool because i don't have to do anything else during that time like there's nothing i can really do i can watch a movie you can read a book there's no pressure whatsoever on, on you, like, for anything else. Like, no one's expecting anything of you. It's cool to just be completely away, you know? Or I have to be on a train for six hours. I, I could be cool just, like, looking outside of the train for six hours. I don't even have to have anything on me. I can be, like, alone with my thoughts. I can have nothing else to do. I actually enjoy that. But some people... I think most people who say they like traveling, they just like being on vacation, you know? <laughs> uh, maybe walking around there a little bit, but, like... the. the Best thing that the most of the thing that they like is just being in a different spot and like seeing new places and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm I, I know I'm completely <laughs> abnormal in that regard, yeah, for sure. Okay, so what do we have in these shops? Let's look through all the shops, guys. That's only like a million items. Um, and no offense to our boy Vera, but I'm gonna check them here and see if that looks any different, or oh, it's also just like a giant line. Um, coin shop uh, okay so how does that look here it's a little bit more condensed but it's different here because it says like reboot or not Yeah, but I, I, but I can tell by the name of the item whether it's reboot or not. Okay, so reboot mezzo pouches. Obviously, that's reboot. Potential scrolls, uh, additional potential scrolls, so that's not for us. Cold hammer, no. Innocent, no. Call potential stamps. We should probably never need these, but okay. Special, no. Special, strange, cubes, whatever. Pat, no, ca no one care. Okay, so, so far we've had epic potential scrolls. <laughs> Basically, that's the only thing really here that's useful. Um, and then we have the flame, so that's usually pretty good. How much is in the reboot mezzo pouch? These are weird. I honestly don't really know which. Th these are not like the normal ones where you get. Um, oh god, how much is in these? Is it like 150k, 300k, 600k? 
1.5 mil, 3 mil or something like that. They're like smaller amounts than the Silent Crusade, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's the uh, I don't think it's those, but it could be those. Usually, I buy them like once or twice near the end of the event once I run out of all the other stuff to buy, and then I just get some coins. But I don't. Yeah, you said normal ones give up to five mil. I know that there's like a hundred k, five hundred k, one mil, five mil, with an average of around six hundred k. But I don't know if it's the same ones. Someone made this, spent a bit too much time. Oh, another like shop guide thing for ignition. Did someone make it? That always saves me a lot of time because I don't give a fuck. Pocket event guide? Pocket event guide is in made by pocket or. Spell trace fever. Wow, adding all of that stuff as well. Calendar? Oh, it made the calendar as well? Yeah, the horizontal one, I've always thought of th thought of if it would be better, for like as a format. The problem would be to add, um, yeah, you just have to switch the columns for the, the things. Could also just yoink this and use this in the future or something, but. Switching it would, it's just like when it's like really big like this and the text is in the middle. Um, should definitely like at least like add a copy and do and freeze, uh, freeze the left column. Definitely want to freeze these so that you can slide to the right without losing that information. Uh, is this the shops? Jesus, somebody had way too much time on their hands. Can you see who made this? Uh, whoever made this, you need to always put your name on there, man. Always take credit for this shit. If you're gonna put this much time onto something, then you need to take fucking credit for it. Okay, go away. Currency calculations. Oh. Transferability. Yeah, okay. Get extended? Yep. My name, Dawa. It's really hard to write that phonet phonetically though, because those sounds don't really exist in uh, in spoken English. So, Um, boom, boom. So we have those items. Well, let's just double check here, right? So E-Pots and then Flames, we'll have to look at how many we can get here. Um, up to 30 Powerfuls, up to 30 Eternals. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's four and a half thousand coins spoken for right here. And the black one's up to 20 for 250, so it's 500. That's pretty. That's very similar in pricing and in quantities from from Destiny. Master Craftsman, up to 20 Master Craftsmans? Oh, that's weird. Why is the limitation on Master Craftsman cubes the same as Black Rebirth Flames? That's a bit strange. Up to 20 Meisters as well. Hmm. Uh, 150 per droplet, up to 20 of each type. Okay, again, like these aren't as necessary to buy anymore, but if you're trying to buy multiple things and both things also exist in mezzo, then just look at what is the mezzo per coin value for all the items and just if something has more value, um, you know, if, if something is cheaper in ignition coins, then buy it with ignition coins, and if something is cheaper with mezzo, then hold it to buy with mezzo later, right? Have you done for the past four months? Have there any, been any Corsair nerfs? Uh, no, no, only bug fixes or slight buffs. What do you think about Mercedes? Are they hard to master? Um, they're not super easy. Uh, they're definitely on the higher end. Probably like top. Well, I mean, at least top ten, maybe top five hard classes. There's got a, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I haven't given them a try to the extent that I've tried to do that, so I can't really tell you exactly how hard it is. But they definitely have a higher demand for good, 
and, you know, key inputs and all that. But I feel like they give you a decent amount of reward for your inputs, just not quite the same as, you know, Kadena does. Bug is getting nerfed, right? Um, kind of. Not really. They're getting mostly nerfs on how many monsters they hit, but they hit so many monsters plus totems are gone that you're never going to hit the cap on amount of monsters hit anyway, so you're fine. Uh, Karma Star for 17 star enhancement. Always look at, you know, you can also look at the mezzo cost for this by just checking exclamation mark enhance. Uh, check exclamation mark, uh, exclamation mark star force, I mean. And then just see how much co uh, is it going to cost to get 17 stars on your item. 7,000 is a lot, okay? Uh, so definitely take that into account, especially with the extra 20% discount we've got coming soon. We'll have to see the exact numbers to see if it's going to be like on 15 plus again, like the 30% discount was. See if it's a multiplicative or an additive discount compared to before. We'll have to see about that. Uh, event Ring Legendary Potential Scroll. This is usually kind of worth Event Ring Legendary Scroll, especially if you're getting one now for a new character. You can immediately roll for Drop or Mezzo. Uh, but of course it's 5,000 as well, so that's quite spicy on the cost there. Uh, this is only for non-reboot, non-reboot. Experience coupons. This seems rather cheap, and it is definitely affordable, but it will add up over time quite a bit on how much you're spending on them. But early game, you have very limited resources um, when it comes to experience coupons, so probably probably want to get this. That's in ha a half an hour of 2x every day. Uh, Monster Blooms, of course, lost a lot of value now because reward points kek. So that's uh, really only for people who are just trying to fill up their, their Monster Park Pokedex, you know. Uh, Power Elixir, is that something you buy with leftover points? Uh, pendant Slot, Coupon, 7 Days, LOL. Trade Boost Potion, all not worth it. Character Slots, that's only a non-reboot. Um, the big bags you can now all buy for mezzo, right? So I wouldn't buy any of those. Nodes, that's what we want. Up to 50. Okay, that's okay -ish for 17 coins. So if you don't know if you need nodes, you do. <laughs> so the first three and a half thousand coins for most people should be going directly into node stones. Very, very high priority for pretty much 90% of the population. So definitely highlight that. That's what you're trying to go for. The XP nodes, I think, are too expensive and not worth enough early on. Um, if you're really going to be hardcore participating in the event and you're going to have a lot of coins, probably get them, um, just because they're also nodes, um, but probably use them on skill nodes if you have any useful ones, but there's a good chance there's some other stuff that you would need more, you know, maybe like the legendary scroll for the event ring or the cu the master cubes or the power of the flames, you know, you probably want to get all of those instead because a thousand each is highly overpriced. Why there wasn't... Oh, here. People are mad. People quit. We have no power. Not enough people quit. Game still. <laughs> That's basically what happened. There's something about reworking maps and mobs within them. Maybe that helps with totems gone. They're constantly redoing maps in KMS as well. Yeah, to make sure that all the maps are viable and that no maps are just completely dead and nobody trains in them. They want to, They want there to be no bottlenecks, right? They don't want everyone to be in the same map and fighting over the same map. That's not good. So with burn and with adjusting map layouts... That's how they want to get there. Am I in Bean? Am I in Bean Birdgate? I am in Bean Birdgate. Yes, I was part of the first batch of uh, of Birdgaters. Um, Special Medal of Honor. Don't ignore that one. That can be very useful. Remember how long it takes to get a good inner ability. Definitely think about that. Kale Circular. Remember those can completely fuck up your inner ability. So only in very very rare occasions would you use this. Black Circle is 1500. These can be useful, but are very expensive, so only use them if they make sense for your account. You're probably late game or end game by the time you're thinking about these. Legendary Circulator, that's mainly for non reboot. 4000 just to get your inner ability to Legendary doesn't make any sense. Just wait for 50% off and uh, roll to Unique, and then just use some Circulators to get to Legendary. That's way cheaper in value. Uh, Arcane Symbol. So to 20, 20, 40, 40, 60, 60 for the symbols, and then 150 down from 200 for sacreds, so more affordable, right? No insane prices anymore. Slightly making those more accessible, but at 100, so that's 15k coins still to buy out the sacred symbols. Uh, but that's per character, right? So you can do that on multiple characters. Good luck with that. And then uh, Ignition Flame Festival Chair. Is that one shown here? No, maybe it is shown here. Yes, that's this one. So this chair right here with the DJ booth and everything, ignition behind you, ignition symbol above you with the stars and everything. Um, for 2,000, 
And then Mr. Ign Ignition Roid Coupon. Which looks like that one Korean dude from the singing competition. Uh, with a Lydium Heart. Of course, Lydium Heart is garbage, but it's good to have an Android like this and then use a Fairy Heart on it, which will undoubtedly be in the Mezzo part of the shop. Uh, ignition Damage Skin Unit. So that will be uh, this one right here. So with all the fireworks and stuff, if you'll be interested. This is on a white background, so that's not the greatest <laughs> to see. With a dark background, you can see a little bit more what it's like, but there's a lot of uh, fireworks going on. And then... If you are critting, you get like special colors for all the letters as well. It's not live. Nope, we're waiting a little bit more. We'll get a fairy heart. I believe there's a fairy heart in the mezzo part of the shop. Yeah, it'll be the next shop we look at, but I'm pretty sure there is one in, if I remember from reviewing the ignition patch notes six months ago. Uh, beach party outfit set coupon. So that should be that or... No, it's not in this picture. Oh, wait, is it here? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so this is the outfit. So you have Ezra Bell wearing it, and then if you want to know how your female characters would be wearing it, it's like that. It's like a little bikini thing going on. Then we've got the hammock chair. Oh yeah, so we have the chair, the surfing mount, and the melon mount, I'm thinking, right? Rolling watermelon mount, yeah. So these are these three, or these three as seen here. Then the mezzo shop. Um, Karma Powerful Rebirth Flames 15, Karma Eternal Rebirth Flames 45 mil. Um, these are only for non-reboot. And then in reboot, we get to buy Eternal Rebirth Flames for 250 mil each. I still do not understand this. We know from the pricing that the price of a Eternal Flame to a Powerful Flame is about 3 to 1. Um, since this is, you know, a scalable endgame thing, if you price them on like a 5 to 1, I think that's still probably doable. But Powerful Flames and Reboot are endlessly purchasable for about 9 mil. So any price over 45 mil does not make any sense. Why they're 250 is just beyond me. It'd be 7.5 bill to buy 30 of these for Mezzo. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, a Karma Black Rebirth Flame, 75 mil, also only for non-reboot. Or in Reboot, you can buy them from 375. <laughs> and you could buy up to 50, you know. So this is for the people who just have way too much Mezzo lying around. That is, I, do, do I even want to do those math? What is that, like 18 and a half bill to buy out 50 flames? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, cult cubes, no need for that. Killing any kind of monsters gives you a whole lot of them. And then this is all just uh, non-reboot stuff. Fairy heart, there it is. Two million mezzos, one per world, untradeable permanent, so make sure that you get it on the right character. Anything that you have as a side character, very strong boss, and you'll at least Lotus Damien or maybe higher, uh, or as a possible side character. Get the fairy hearts there first. But then a whole bunch of stuff we can't get again. And then Alliance Commander Outfit Set Box for 1.5 Bill. And we should have the same uh, outfit shown here, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there's the outfit right there. With a cool extra effect. I don't remember this effect when you were jumping around with it. Oh, I don't think I ever put all the same things on the same character. I see. I heard only for the hyperburn. Yeah, just one at a time. <laughs> or do we need a certain android for it? Yeah, the android always needs to be the same. Uh, no, the so the rank of the heart needs to be the same rank as the android or higher. But fairy heart and all those other hearts are like rank nine, so it'll basically work on every single android that's not a one droid. Sees two bell price tag. Welp, lithium it is. Um, I get that, but I would save up for the fairy heart and get it. Even if you're just doing um, Ursus and just doing Maple Tour two runs, that's two weeks of Mezos to be able to afford the two bill. I would get it because by the time the next event comes around with a heart, you wish you will have would have already gotten it. By that time, that two bill will have been definitely, definitely worth it. Um, it's a lot of damage, and it goes into twelve nine nine percent on legendary. And the Lithium Heart is level 30, and if you max it out, only goes up to like 633. So up to only up to 12% on perfect 3 line. So really don't invest anything into Lithium Heart, and, and try to get the Fairy Heart before the end of the event, 100%. Uh, 6 and 9 outfit selection box coupon, 500 mil. With a whole lot of stuff, okay. And then we have Androids here. So if you're short on coins, you can buy the Android here. But if you have, you know, if you have enough coins, then just buy one of these two. But uh, buy one of these two, and then equip the the fairy heart onto those. 
uh, Android Ear Clip, Rosy Skin, yeah, some stuff that you can do. Then the Flare Coin Shop, so this is from doing your uh, monthly, your monthly bosses, right? Was it monthly bosses? Weekly bosses? Uh, oh no, weekly was from bosses. Flare was just like big, big quests, right? Including bosses and other stuff, I think. And I'm probably doing a lot of the dailies. They're going to want you to do a lot of that. I don't know how much you can really buy from that, though. Oh, Arcane Flame. Okay, yeah. So just the, up to 50 droplets each, up to 100. Um, and then Flames, right? That's usually the only thing that's left for Reboot. Yeah, and Black Circular. Yeah, okay. So droplets, Flames, and Black Circular. It's very, very, very similar to the Destiny Shop. Like, it's basically the same items. What time is it maintained? Uh, it's still being maintained right now. Looks like I'm spending five bill on outfits for my Cygnus Knights. <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, but yeah, remember, there should be signing, Shining Star Force coming out somewhere soon-ish, TM. Uh, maybe we'll see it in the Sunny Sundays here. Maybe it'll be in the next batch, which will have an extra 20% off considering the update here. Oh, December 11th? Oh, cool. Yeah, we were thinking the 18th, but... Then they said that it was going to be part of the first part, and the second part was mathematically going to be on the 13th, so it would have had to be a week before that, yeah, so the 11th. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the most money you can ever save, right? So definitely throw everything at December 11th first, and then just make your money back and spend it on anything else you want after that, right? Don't spend it before the Shining Star Force. Because your money, I mean, we can look at like an example, but your money is just going to be worth so much more during a... Um, a shining star force than on anything else i think this is still like without the extra 20 percent this is probably not included yet uh but you have 5 10 15 and 30 percent off at the same time right like if you would to um what is like a realistic thing people would do you probably like try to 21 star your uh go from like 17 to 21 on cra right no star catch no safeguard type usually you probably do that during 5 10 15 so you'd spend like, what is this, six average, nine bill? Yeah. And if you add that, you spend it closer to six. Like it's so much money saved, dude. Like spend, save three bill per item, 10 items, 30 bill extra. Like you're just printing cash, right? If you just spend it at the right time. Minus 20%, yeah, but both of them would be minus 20%. So it still would be like a similar discount in percentage it's like a 33 percent roughly discount already missing jump attack on nightwalker you're already missing it <laughs> well i have to see how it goes you know but yeah the the 20 percent will mean that the numbers are even smaller but that means the discount will also be smaller so uh and then we have clover guild no idea what the fuck that is uh november 16th to february 28th Wait, I'll just do, um, I'll just do this for now. Clover Guild. And if Klopfer, Klopfer song, Klopfer song, uh, Klopfer, yeah. if nothing else joins it, I'll just over. Let's read what this is all about. Is that also here? I don't think it's here, right? No, that's not part of this. Is it part of this? No, is it part of this? First of all, we're jamming. Bouncing beach ball? Oh yeah, that's a new mini game too. Uh, <laughs> you have to like bounce the ball and get rid of all of the things that are there. It's quite, these, these mini games are gonna be quite fun. We got like three people, and you're like bouncing the ball around. This is gonna be part of the second, uh, second part of Ignition. Do you guys remember this game back in the day? Like in the arcade and shit? You get to pick up any ball that's there and just toss it out. 
And some of them will have to get hit like multiple times, and some of them will just have to get hit once. Ugh, I played this game so much when I was a kid. Uh, we've got puzzle pieces. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the non KMS thing, right? With the totem that you can flame. Is this the flammable totem thing? This doesn't look very KMS. Shining Clover Collection Tool, 25. KNX. For 30 days after purchase, the chance of finding clovers is quadrupled, and the amount of clovers you can collect per day increases by 200. That's some hard pay to win, my dude. <laughs> what is this pay to win? Okay, let's l let's read. Let us read the fox Neru Neruru, a veteran merchant. Okay, we well, you know what merchant stands for. Uh, clovers. Clovers are currency you can be purchased. Items in the clover store. Well, no sh... Thank you. Um, thank you for clarifying that. Uh, there is a chance of 10 clovers and the ones are hunting near your level. Blah, 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 200 by default and can be increased to 400 by swiping the credit card. The amount of obtained clovers and the daily limit is shared across characters in the same world. The max amount of clovers that can be obtained monthly is 5.6k or 11.2 when the Shining Clover Collection tool is used. Um, so only over 28 days. Yeah. So the number of days you can obtain is a maximum of 28 days in a month to allow an equal distribution every month. Oh, because February is in there. Rip. Uh, the probability of finding a clover is not affected by the drop rate system except for Clover Guild exclusive items such as Shining Clover Collection tool. Oh, because it quadruples. Okay. The amount of clovers in possession and the monthly purchase limit will reset at 12 a.m. UTC on the first day every month. Okay. Clover store. What do we have here? Uh, 2,000 clovers. Monthly quantity two with the big potions. Okay. Seven hundred, seven hundo. Oh wait, the selector will be two hundred, and that's a monthly quantity of two. And then you can also buy one of these. That's seven hundo. Two of these and two of those. Two brilliant piggy banks. Non reboot. Rip. Brilliant piggy bank reboot. Seventeen hundred clovers. Monthly quantity two. Um, is that one you open every day for mezzo, like the piggy bank before? Yeah, so the first one is only going to be 13, 12, 13 days or something, yeah. Thir oh, 14 days, yeah. 14, 15? 14? 14, 15? Something like that, yeah. And not 28, looks like it. So much for equal distribution, right? <gasps> 666 viewers! Monka Christ! Stay safe, chat. Demons are walking among us. That's a good number for you, Infernal Change. <laughs> nice. Um, piggy Bank, Karma 100%, 12 star enhancement. That's fucking useless. Uh, 15 star enhancement. Now we're talking. 650. Ooh! And a 17 star enhancement. 12 hundo. Ooh! Note Stone, 1 Clover, monthly quantity, 100. Oh! What the fuck? Wait, is that really? It, wait, is this real? No shot, dude. One clover? Wait. Ah, now I know what they were talking about. Because someone told me there was going to be something that would help people who don't get enough note stones. Because totems are gone. Hmm. And this is going... So November, 
December, January, and February. So you'll be able to get 400 nodes out of this. And only one clover each, so that's going to be really easy to cap on as well. Mm-mm-mm. Honestly, even if it was 10 clovers, it would still be cheap. <laughs> It'd still be easy to get to. Experience note zone for 20. Ooh! And a monthly quantity of 10? Ooh, baby! Dude, nice! Nice! These are going to be easy to buy out, even if you're free to play. Definitely, definitely work on this, guys. If you're newish on an account, you're trying to build up your new character, this is super important. Buying them from the uh, ignition shop, but also working on the on the clover stuff. That's going to be massive. Four months. Four months. Of guild event work on buying out the Okay, that's good. That's a lot of notes. Karma powerful flames for fifteen. Okay. Karma eternals for fifty. Still affordable, 10 per month though. Hmm. Maple Tour VIP Pass coupon for 30. Get some extra money. 10 per month extra though. Hmm. Protection scroll for safety scroll 200. It doesn't say that you can buy those in uh, in these worlds only. That's a little weird. I hope these won't be available for us. Recovery scroll, Karma Master for 30. Karma Meister for 50. Happy Fox Chair coupon for 1500. It's kind of a cute chair. Untradable though. Mm. Is the experience the same XP to a node as adding one node? No, it's the same as adding... Oh, I always forget if it's two or three nodes. It's one of the two. It's either two or three. Three? Okay. Yeah, two seems too long. Yeah, it's a three. But mainly you was use it on skill nodes. Because those are way more valuable, right? It's sweet. It is sweet, but only if they're cheap. Like in the event shop, they cost a hundred. Uh, it cost a thousand. Too much. Can you quick thoughts on Dawn Warrior? Well, I mean, you slap your sword around and you blow things up. I haven't played it yet with the new changes, so I can't really tell. Can't really say, right? They look interesting, but um, you have to try it to to know what it's going to be like. It's not the same as just looking at Korea, right? We have a different game. We have different rules, different limitations, different types of damage and all that. So you can't just look at, oh, this is the patch in Korea, and then this is what the class is going to be. If I could do that, I would have already incorporated and worked on the uh, class picker and have everything there updated, and the Cygnus Knights would have already been in there and graded and everything would have been. But because I can't do that, I can also not compare it to other classes. I don't know where they fit in, you know? Is it really bad using EXP nodes on my node trio? Um, I don't know about really. It, it, it de Some classes might really need their tri nodes way, way, way more than skill nodes. So boosting them early might be maybe okay. But for most classes, you want to use them on skill nodes because there's at least one skill that's highly valuable and you want to level that one up as fast as possible. <coughs> A lot of people use it on holy symbol, for example. Because then you can get extra EXP and extra drop rate earlier. Even if you have no other skill node that you need, right? Even before you use it on, tri on boost nodes or tri nodes. You save up all your EXP nodes and max your will skill. You could also do that. I don't think that's necessary though. Will skill at level 1 or max is not a big difference. For mobbing it always one shots and for bossing it does okay damage. It's something cool to min max on later. But I don't think you should be using the experience nodes or saving it too long for that. Unless you're very far into the game, you have a bunch of extra, blah, blah, blah. Then you do whatever you want. Better 220 bossing mule, my wind archer, Dunwer, or Mihal limited nodes. Uh, I don't know. I haven't played the classes yet, so I can't tell you. Seems like Mihal is going to have more survivability, but wind archer has decent survivability as well. Dawn Warrior better burst. No, not sure yet. We're going to have to play them, see how different they are. 
if you're Hayato, you have somehow perfect tries, yes. Uh, actually, no, Hayato really, really needs your skill node to level. You need Iaijutsu Phantom Blade to be maxed as a Hayato. Way more important than your boost nodes. Boost nodes are very unimportant until you get far into the game on Hayato. I guess we aren't up yet. Not quite yet. Would drop rate be terrible for Clovers then? It seems too good to be true. I think the drop rate is quite terrible because of how cheap the nodes are. Uh, I'm not sure if reaching 200 in a day is going to be very easy to do. You might have to put quite a lot of time into that. Just because the cap is 200 doesn't mean you can get it in half an hour, right? I'm fully expecting in order to get 200, the fact that you have to train for like three to four hours, that's, I, f I feel like that's probably what it's going to be. And a lot of people are going to be upset that they can't just cap on fi in 15 minutes, 100%. Especially since I said that they're not affected by drop rate at all, you know? You really want people to pay the money to do it. Um, but this is 25k and X, but it only... But it's monthly quantity one. It's only for 30 days after the purchase. So it'll be a hundred bucks if you want to do it all four weeks. I mean, I'll probably do it. I have a million in X right now. I, I'll pay 100k for this, I guess. Only two ads, Giga Chat. <laughs> nice. Seems too cheap compared to other event shops. I think they purposefully made it too cheap because they know that because of totems being gone, people need nodes way more. And they did hear that, and I did send that message to uh, MapleStory a lot. So. But we'll see. Um, Clover Pouch is 2k NX, consumable upon purchase, expires February 28th. A mysterious pouch that can be used to obtain 200 clovers by double clicking it. When used, it deducts the number of times clover pouch can be used and will display a notification window. If oh, wow. So, not all <laughs> you could also just buy them straight up. 28 times per month will give you half the. will give you the daily cap or half. What about fams? Fams will have to be addressed in some other way, yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, red cards. I've been really, I, I, I mentioned red cards, I think like six times when I was at the Nexon offices on my, <laughs> I tried guys, I tried. I wonder if the Clover patch lets you go over the daily limit? No, it shouldn't. I mean, if it's a limit, then it wouldn't let you, right? I think the daily for 400 is uh, is stuck. So if you use it, you can just cap on a non, uh, non tool day, or if you're tool, you, then you get half of it done. I don't think you, you if you double click it, and you already cap for the day, or you can't get 200. It probably say like you can't get 200 more. It, yeah, it's kind of like a battle pass. Yeah, true. So this event is pay to win. Yeah, well, so like, okay, so with every event, with every shop, this is always what you want to do. Okay. Step one, look at what are the rewards. See what you need, see what you want, and see what you don't want, okay? Put those in a priority list. Then look at how many coins is that going to be, how many coins can I get per day, how many days are there, how much pressure is that on you, okay? If that is something that you think is acceptable with how much you have to invest in that in the day, then try that. Then go two or three days and see how hard it is to do that. If that answers to your expectation, continue. If it's too easy, you can add a few things from the things you want in the, into the things you need and you can buy more. If it's too hard, you might have to either just move a bunch of things for the things that you want and only take the things that you really, really, really need, right? Um, or just say, this is way too much trouble and just say, fuck this event, right? That's what you always wanna do. So just make kind of like a guess in the beginning based on the maths, based on the days, based on the, I a little bath, 100%. And based on the days that you want, uh, on the items that you want, sorry, and how many days that's work that's going to be, and make like a rough estimate on how much you want to spend a day doing that. If it's too much, fuck it. If it's not enough, add some more stuff. Okay. Is the paying just for faster capping? Um, yeah, you'll cap twice as fast because the cap doubles, but the uh, drop rate quadruples, so you'll cap twice as fast. Pay to win. This is yeah. This is pay to skip. Yeah. This one is pay to win. This one is pay to skip. This this one just speeds it up. 
um, and also how far you can get. And this one gives it instant, yeah. But I mean, they could have made this 56 a month as well, so you could just buy the whole thing, but they left that at 28, so you can't just fully buy everything. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then we have Honor, and, but this is a, oh, excuse me, very, very long event. And then we have Honor and Pride, which I did see, oh, wait, what? Which I did see another thing had here. Was it? Was it here? Was it here then? Oh, here. Oh, and that's just all the extra rewards for like a new, for, yeah, 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 for new Cygnus, yeah, yeah. So this is 16th until the 7th, and this one is as well? Oh, there's no date on this. 16th until the 7th. Wait, don't I already have that here? Yeah, that's the same as Hyper Burning. Honor and pra P Pride. PP Pride. Pride of your PPs, boys. Boom. Insert link. Bam. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome. Oh, and a, another one. Thank you to Teddy Mason's Fuss and Dog, Koob Thu, The Real, Chris Kyle, uh, The Record Gods, Sidology, Lava Saw, and The Road to Pro Gaming. Thank you all for following. Welcome. Uh, I try to stream every single day, full time. So if you, can, you guys have any questions or you just kind of want to hang out, meet some other people, maybe make some friends, we have a Discord server, uh, YouTube channel. And we work with commands a lot. So you put an exclamation mark and then you put the other thing that you're looking for behind it like this and boom, the bot will give you a message or the other bot will and it will send you a bunch of information that you can... Um, it's a great place to be. Thank you. Uh, you could do. Uh, also, if you haven't played Maple in a while or you are playing and you are lagging quite a bit, you could consider using Exilag. There's a link there. Uh, you could try have a free trial, but if you do decide to use the program, uh, it's safe to use, but it will reduce your ping by quite a bit. It doesn't allow you to play like other regions and stuff. It's not a VPN like that, but it does allow you to get a better connection and lower your ping. So if you do decide to use that, um, if, if you use that link, then basically I get a little bit of kickback from that. I use it myself. It's very, very useful. It takes my ping from around 180 to around 80, basically. 80 to 80 to 90 most of the time. So it's about cutting my ping in half. Dun, da, da, da. There's a chance the clover pouch is actually a gamble. Like there's a chance for it to give you 200. It seems too cheap next to the tool for 25k or something. Well, that's because you're buying per day. You just you just buy one pouch for one day, and that's 2k, right? So if you're trying to cap the whole time, then you have to pay 56k per month to cap. So I think it looks decently priced. I mean, if you're missing a day on something else, like on a stamp or something, those are 3k. So I think it makes sense it's a little bit cheaper than that, but not that much cheaper. How you make it now will be accessible for us. It's always accessible. Yeah, you can check exclamation mark events. It's always available. Sorry if this has been asked a lot, but what did you decide to hyperburn? Oh yeah, it's been asked a lot. Uh, at this point, I think uh, I think Buccaneer, but I'm gonna focus first on using up my totems on my DA to try to get as close as possible to, um, to 275 on there for the Black Mage runs. And then once that's done, then I'll look around for what to terror burn. The arc nerfs that bad? They're pretty bad. I put it under, uh, I put arc under a small nerf, not under a big nerf, but it is definitely a nerf for sure. Um, some of that is going to be overturned though in the next balance patch that comes after it. So hopefully we yeah, won't be as nerfed for too bad, but it, it looks like we're gonna have to wait until, uh, until February 8th at least until that gets overturned. What's Brilliant Piggy Bank do? Uh, I'm not sure, it's a non, I think it's a non, KMS thing because I couldn't really find it. Piggy. The Clover thing? I don't know if it's a GMS exclusive thing actually. Has any other region had the piggy bank? There was a piggy bank before in the Night Troop where you could basically click it once a day and then get some money from it once a day. It might be like that. 
Uh, or they might have done something completely different, so I'm not sure. It's only GMS Clover. Kobe says GMS don't have it. Yeah, no, I don't think they did, yeah. It, it looked like it's something they haven't had yet. But it could be like CMS or something, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, uh, Honor and Pride, we already clicked that and we added it here, nice. And then we had the picture here, yeah. So that's like a bunch of rewards you get for making a new, a new Cygnus Knight, right? So the pet, item for the pet, ring, that'll look like this. Um, the, oh god, what is this called again? But the banner, banner ring, like the background for your name. Chair, and then some cosmetic stuff and the damage skin. So this is all for making a new Cygnus Knight, if I remember correctly. Uh, but let's see here. Label, that's the one. Yes, thank you, label. Um, to accept the one and reach the daily ignition coin limit of 300 to claim the daily rewards in order. New Cygnus Knight's character and increase reason level 100. And completing fourth job advancement. Sunny Sunday requires 600 ignition coins to be obtained based on reaching the daily limit. Oh, so the Sundays have like double the limit as well. That's interesting. Uh, it's, no, well, it's not that interesting, but it's good. It's good to know. Uh, all daily rewards can be claimed once a day per world. Since there are a total of six rewards, uh, there is a total of six rewards, you need to reach because there's only one total, not multiple totals. You need to reach a daily ignition coin limit for six days during the event duration. Wow, I've, I feel like that's reasonable. <laughs> six times to reach the cap in three months? <laughs> I don't think that's too, too steep. Uh, new Cygnus Knights can earn more rewards. You can claim the Cygnus Knights rewards when reaching the level milestone with the Cygnus Knights created after the maintenance. New Cygnus Knights reward can be only claimed once per region. Ooh, spooky. Spooker, big old spooker. Now, here are those rewards. The pet, yep. Oh, this almost looks like a different pet because of the area. The label and the chat ring. Uh, that's very different from this one. Huh? Wait, why is it a different label and chat ring? The fuck? That is very different. Hmm. Petite Shinsu. Tradable within account. Uh, oh, here, Shinsu. Little Shinsu, untradable, permanent. Shinsu blessing, untradable, permanent. Hmm. Uh, and then the label rings. Yeah, permanent pet is quite nice. But again, it has to be. I mean, so if anything, it's tradable within account on the, the the boxes, right? So it'll make sense to just make a new Cygnus uh, just to get a perma pet and then just delete it. <laughs> the Korea chat ring looks way better. I think so too, yeah. Uh, chair, is there anything else I wanna get? Knight's damage skin, yeah, so that's this one. Uh, and then the set coupon, so those are, that's these. So I guess look at the pictures here to see if you guys like what you see. Do you like what you see? I think they they look pretty cool. Except as always, MapleStory cannot do hats for some reason. These are too high up on the forehead. These will just fall off. Because look at the distance. These are just, I don't know, like plates that'll fall off. This is, I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to be. It's just like a hairpin. And these are just like plopped on their forehead doesn't seem like it's connected to anything at all so like hats meh but that's why i have my rainbow wig you know um but all the other outfits look pretty cool except for the blaze wizard one really makes you look like an evan i think but maybe that's just in my brain you don't need to make a new no no, no i believe 
Oh yeah, this is all Cygnus Knights. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. The honor all Cygnus Knights can be obtained by clicking the receive reward. Uh, any Cygnus Knight character who has reached their daily limit on ignition coins, including those created before the patch. Yeah. Yeah, no, these are the things that you can get extra. Uh, pride new Cygnus Knights, yeah. Uh, but let's see how they... These are all the outfits. Oh, they have pictures of the outfits here as well, yeah. Oh, a little jump effects added. Good job. Good job, Ezra Bell. More, more uh, information than you could see here. See? People do things differently, but then sometimes you just... You put them together, and then you get the best... You get the best of both worlds. Uh, Knight's Pride. Is that what it looks like here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, uh... With the eagle on it. A level 1 hundo. So this is for the new ones. 10% bonus EXP title. At level 100. Trade Boost Potion. Mitra's EXP box. 10 coupons. Uh, probably has, what, 4 openings or something? 3 openings, maybe. It doesn't say exactly here either. New knight support box, 50 symbols, 5 nodes, 5 special medals of honor. 50 symbols at 205, 5 nodes, 50 symbols at 210, 10 nodes, 50 symbols, 1 experience at 215, and at 220, 100 symbols, 10 nodes, and a unique emblem. Boom! Uh, Bibles Fest package is just something that you can claim in your rewards. Doesn't really have a day or anything, so I'm not going to make a uh, separate entry on the event calendar for this. And then we have our Sunny Sundays, uh, which we try to screenshot. And zooming out in Chrome is very fun, so it's just going to keep scrolling for us. That's one more. Huh. Oh no, we don't do that anymore. We don't. We do this. Zoom, too much. Uh, boom. Boom. Where am I? Oh, back to top. Yes, and then click Sunny Sunday. Bam, 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 bam. Edit link. Boom. Apply. Bam. Then we enter the dates. So that's the twenty twenty seven four eleven. No, 20, no, 27, deck 4, deck 11. And then we bold in the ones that are good. Uh, what do we have? Get pet box for up to four, for every hour, oh, up to four for every hour online. Pink bean, cotton candy, once for the first time, 30 days, 200 ignition coins. Afterwards, jackpot rod, one from nine, Luna Petite, first, third, pets. Yeah, that's one in... Only from third for reboot. One in a bajillion chance of getting anything there, so probably nothing. <laughs> okay, okay. So you get one... 30 day pets and a bunch of coins. So these are bonus coins if you're doing the math for yourself on like how many coins am I going to be able to get. These are coins you want to add there as well, right? And then double the daily missions, coins, and limits on every Sunday. So make sure that you count every week as like times eight instead of times seven. Um, so I mean, getting a pet, uh, a bunch of people have pets. I'll make sure to add this. Um, November 10th, sunny Sunday. And then um, Cygnus. There you go, add that in there. No cube, cube sale confirmed yet, nope. Any updates on maintenance time? Uh, last time we saw it was updated until further notice, so.
Uh, double EXP from all the portals. So the Asphyxia portals with double EXP could be kind of nice here. Uh, double the coins. Limit of ignition coins can be obtained from completing Fabric Festival per daily as doubled. Wait. Hang on. Double ignition flame festival daily missions coins and limit. And then here it's received double ignition coins from completing fireworks festival parade daily missions not applicable to flame stamp and and the limit of ignition coins you can obtain from completing fireworks festival parade daily missions is doubled. Wait, what's the difference between this and this? And here it's written like this. I think they mean the same thing. 50% um, off inner ability on the 4th. That's pretty big. And then a 5, 10, 15, and 30 off are shining on the 11th. So that's humongous. So this is not bold. This is not bold. This is kind of bold. Inner ability is pretty useful. And this one is... Why did you change my entry, dude? Shining Star Force. When does it end? It ends when it's finished. Music scars, event document, exclamation mark, events. Oh, and someone already put it in the chat. There you go. Okay, this will be the new event calendar. Those are all the new events. Those are links to all the events. And this is the end of the patch notes. Thanks for checking it out. If you were here live, if you were here live and you want everyone to know what they were missing, type your favorite emote in the chat right now. See how alive these people are. They're definitely all active watchers and chat participants. No one here is just AFK and just away from their keyboard, just listening in the background to see if the game is actually still up. These are all real people, no bots, see? actual human beings in the chat this could have been you if you're watching this on youtube this could have been you right now spamming in this chat you're really missing out <laughs> see you guys are alive thank god dude sometimes i wonder if everyone is just <laughs> like jerking off in the corner listen to my voice in the background which you know I, I, i'll take that compliment i'll take that i was there <laughs> i was here <laughs> i was there when you guys were doing that thing I'm drinking off to your voice. All right, I'll take it. Don't ask me. <laughs> um, I mean, I am. I mean, I am, but no need to call it out. Damn, so confrontational. Still study, studying math. Oh yeah, good luck, good luck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey YouTube, listen to you while eating fish sticks with the family. Oh, does your family like eating fish sticks? Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching this, and good luck with all of the ignition stuff, and make sure to check in and swing by the stream if you have any questions, or if you just want some people to hang out with. All right, bye YouTube. Twitch, bye, wave bye to YouTube. Give him, a, give him a people bye. Don't forget to like, <laughs> no, st shut up. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. Bye, YouTube.